Wow, you two wasted no time. I love it. What's up, Nathan? What's up, Generation 3? Already, already breaking out the brain loss demote. I haven't even done a brain loss yet, and we're already nice. Nice to see you, Gen 3. And Chop Soy, redeeming a Hydrate. I did make those 80. I, now I remember I made those 80. Alright, how you doing, Gen 3? I had a pretty interesting day today. Thank you for redeeming the first redeem. Love it when people do that. Oh yeah, can't even hex. Good old emo there. Alright, Manny, let's go! Emerald Pog, heck yeah. Oh, Manny, you also played Emerald when you were a child? Or, well, like, when I say also, I mean as in as well as the other people. I, this is my first time playing. It's my first playthrough. Lithy. Oh, wait, I forgot. Music is still going. I'm gonna... Blah, that. There we go. Alright. Lily says, OMG, no one cares. Let's see the Pokemon already! Well, fine. We shall... We shall see the Pokemon. All right, I hope you're happy, Lithy. Welcome in. I hope everyone's having a good day or night or whatever it might be for you. Gen 3 at work, but a bit slow today. Emerald, what game is that? I wonder. Well, all right, Gen 3. Yeah, like, I have no idea. Like, of course, the, you wouldn't know what Pokemon Emerald is. Like, it's the third generation of Pokemon. Like, that has nothing to do with anything you would know about, right? Oh, he says, JK, take your time. All right, then. I'll take my time. We're going back to the intro screen. All right, we're starting again. We're st we haven't started yet. We're not... Stream's not happening yet. <laughs> Maddie says, Sapphire was my first ever game growing up. Nice. Yeah, my first was... I think I actually played Crystal, maybe? For, like, a day. But, like, the first game I played all the way through was Silver. So, cool to see, like, Sapphire, like, your first game, like, ever growing up, like, first video game ever? And yo, Gen 3's was Ruby! That is awesome. What is these dead emotes? Alright, alright, let's actually do game now. Yo, and Clay's here, or the more regal term. Clasis. Or Clasius. That sounds more like Roman. Like Roman kind of regal royalty. Head of state something or other. Welcome in, Clay. How's it going? Manny says, yeah, first experience with gaming as a, as a whole was Sapphire. Dang. So that really, like, got you into it then. How much did you do in Sapphire? Did you catch them all? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Clay says, gotta catch them all. Ooh, I guess Clay has not been um, informed of how we do things in my Pokemon streams. All right, I've got too many things open. Let me close them for a sec. All right, here we go. Oh, freaking! I had to do my dailies in Genshin before stream. Clay, do you also play Pokemon? Wow, take two steps and Maria's calling me. Doduo. Something about Doduo. Alright, we gotta catch Ralts today. I've been saying forever that, like, we need to get a Ralts. <laughs> yeah, Lithy knows what's up. Here on this stream, we catch Pokemon. Heavy, yeah, heavy emphasis on the quotes there. Lots of quotes around catch. Wait, I think I was supposed to heal my Pokemon, but I didn't last time. So we're gonna go heal. Alright, so you people who played Sapphire and Ruby, do you know how far I am through the game? Yeah, how many badges we at? I think I have four or five badges. Let me check. Manny says, have you been introduced? Wait, have you been introduced to the Phoebus Nightmare Catch? I don't think so. That is not does not sound familiar to me. All right, so I am currently in Lily Cove City. So that means I've gotten everything up to Lily Cove. So the last badge we got was in Fortree City. All right, so story-wise, we are three fifths of the way through. All right, over halfway, not bad. 
Um, how do I check my badges? Human? Okay, so... Oh, wow, I've got six badges. Yeah, man, he said six badges. Nice. Alright, looking good. Alright, so Feebats is a Pokemon that spawns in only six tiles in the whole game. Alright, so... It's super rare. Is that one we gotta... We, we should also try to catch? And Clay says, I want to be Roselia. Wait, Ralts... Wait, does Roselia come b after Ralts and before Gardevoir? Or is that someone else? What's the fastest way back to where you can catch a Ralts? Can I go down? Is that an option? Let's see if I can go down. Oh, okay, Rose oh, Roselia is a rose grass type. Okay, so definitely not, like, like, Ralts is psychic, right? Wait, I can learn fly already? You unlock fly with the sixth gym. Okay, well then. What perfect timing. Bag has, it's gotta have fly somewhere. All right, fly, use, who can fly? None of my Pokemon can fly. Nice, let's go get someone who can. And let's get there a little faster. Excuse me, ma'am. I am trying, thank you. <laughs> Just randomly walks in front of me. Alright, let's see who we have. In the box. Wait, why are so many of my Pokemon, like, grayed out? What is going on? What is happening? Why are they, like, grayed out? <laughs> Just beat the game! Alright, Lithy, good advice! Like, why... Darn it, why did I not think of that? All I should have done is beat the game. And I just realized that Chop redeemed a Hydrate way long ago, so... Sorry if you don't see this, Chop, but here's your Hydrate redeem! <laughs> Wait, I'm in the item box. Oh, I did go to the move items box, not the move Pokemon box. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for explaining, Lily. And Manny. So great how Pokemon don't have items. That makes sense. So I've got Pokemon in here with items? Oh, it's got a Rossberry. Alright, we probably want to get our Swellow out. So who are we putting away? Well, if we don't need Surf anymore, then Ziggy can go away. But we don't really ever use Shedinja. But Shedinja has Cut. Maybe Swellow can learn Cut. Can Swellow learn Cut? Yeah, you very much need Surf. Yeah, it's a good, yeah, so it's a good idea to keep <laughs> Zigzagoon in. Friggin' Zigzagoon's our Surfer. So many Pokemon can learn Cut. Cool. Alright, maybe we'll turn Swellow into our utility Pokemon now. Swellow was good in the early game. But now we need stronger Pokemon. Yo, Clay. It's nice to have you here, as always. Alright, time to teach a bird to fly, because apparently it doesn't already know how. Baggy. Able, the one able Pokemon. Yes. All right. What are we? What are we deleting? Double team. Easy. Bye bye. Double team. I didn't even look at the other moves. I know double team is crap because last time we actually tried to use it, like two streams ago, and double team did nothing good for us. It was just like a waste of time. Wait. <laughs> what if I try to teach it cut too? What would we take away from Cut? Oh, Swellow's the old- Wait, Lithy, you said so many people can learn Cut. But Swellow can't Cut. Alright, we're giving it to Ziggy Stardust, then. Our level 3 utility Pokemon. 
All right, growl. See ya. <laughs> I mean, All right, now we're now we're on our way. This is how you do it, right? You go to the swallow, you do the fly, and then Ralts is near here or here. It's one of these two. Oh wait, I think yeah, we went to Pedalberg. And then you go right? Yeah, okay, Manny, right. Right of Petalberg, nice. Lily well, says, Ralts is at your mom's house, I think. Got him. Well, I wish Ralts was at my mom's house. That would just make it easier to catch. All right, so then it's over here. Wait. Wait. Did I go t I think I went too far. I thought there was like a little area With all with the Ralts. Was it up here? It's where you're like you and that guy, what's his name? Wally? You go and fight for like a second? Route 102, it is anywhere in there. Oh, just anywhere. Alright. Here we go then. We're just going into the grass. Wait, I should probably actually put Ziggy first. So that we don't, you know, kill it instantly. Ooh, this is actually tough. Yeah, four or five percent encounter, so it might be a while. Well, I guess in the meantime, maybe we'll just level level Ziggy up a bit. Wait, Surskit was one percent for no reason. That sounds dumb. Like, why? Why would that be a thing? You probably won't need to weaken it and can just catch it straight away with a great ball or better. Whoa. Do I have a do I even have a great ball? I have 10 great balls. Nice. All right, we'll just throw a great ball and see if we can get it. All right, so strap in. We've got um mathematically low all right, low chances of finding it. <laughs> Yeah. It's a huge amount of great balls, Lithy. That's what I got. Alright. So what do we do while we're just, like, walking around? <laughs> You've got great balls, friend. Thank you, Lithy. Because, of course, allegedly... Oh, I was gonna say a joke about how you clearly know how great my balls are. But anyway... <gasps> Alright, so we've got three. Alright, let... Does anyone know how to do math? Like, I know how to do the calculation on approximately how many it uh, encounters it would take to find the routes. But does anyone else want to try it themselves? Do you, does anyone know statistics? Or is math boring to everybody? Wait. Lithy, did you you took math in university? You should know how to do this. W sauce says start stream talking about balls. Oh no. W sauce, you came in at it's a very interesting time. Lily says, what's the question? Okay, assuming we have a 5% encounter rate, how many encounters approximately will give us like a, let's say, 95% chance of seeing a Ralts? <laughs> Alright, welcome in, W Sauce. How are you doing? Alright, also, W Sauce, thank you so much for that recommendation last stream for the music. The doujin, doujin music. It was really good. We listened to it for like a huge amount of time on stream. Well, he says, you want like expected value given a percentage? Uh, <laughs> uh... Wait. What do you mean expected value given a percentage? We want one Ralts. Depends on the type of distribution. 
W Sauce says, this isn't calculus, can't help. <laughs> Alright, what? You haven't taken calculus? Like, this doesn't need calculus anyway, it's just statistics. Alright, let the- Alright, W Sauce says, hey, glad you, glad you liked it. Awesome. Yeah, thanks so much for that recommendation. It was good stuff. Okay, well, at least... All right, all right, you're right, Lithy. You're right. It, it does depend on the distribution. 5% is just 1 in 20, dude. Yeah, but on statistics, the more you do it, that's like, one. yeah, it's 1 in 20, but if you do it once, probabilities kind of change if you have a group of getting 1. Because we only need 1 in a group. What do you mean? No, no, not that fallacy. No, it's... Like, not the fallacy. Like, there's actual math. It Because it's not like, oh, if you do two, that makes it, you double your chances of getting it. Like, that's not how it works. Am I gonna have to actually do the math for you? No, it's not gambler's fallacy. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something different. All right, yeah, so, it, all right, Manny's on the right track. All right, I'm gonna have to do the math for y'all. Never been good at stats. Alright, here's how it works. Here's how it works. And this, I do this a lot in Genshin. Because this math comes up a lot in Genshin. Alright, let's... Alright, let's do this. Um, let's start on Google. Well, there's that. Alright, math. Um, calculator? Alright, we're going here. Wait. Wait, but you don't want two in a row. Yeah, please tell us, Mr. German. Okay, here's how it works. You just replace 4% with the 0.6% Genshin has. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. You just have really small probabilities. Okay. Alright, so we know we have... Um... 0 0.005. Because it's a... F Wait, 5% chance would be... 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Yeah, 0 0.05. Okay, so that's a 5% chance. So that's like our probability if we do it one time. But if we do it two times, the probability becomes 0 0.05 times, times 0 0.05, except it's... Oh, it doesn't let me go backwards? Come on. Okay, it's 1 minus 0. No, one minus. What is this? Why does this calculator suck? All right, let me just do it up here. One minus 0 0.05 times 0 0.05. So this is our probability of catching a Ralts in two encounters. Wait, that's not right. Wait, what did I... All right, wait, I think I'm gonna mess that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so Lithy knows where I'm going with this now. Because it's the probability of getting zero routes. Oh, okay, that's what I did wrong. That's what I did wrong. All right, nobody looked. I did it wrong. Okay, because the probability... All right, so the probability of getting a routes is 0 0.05. So the probability of not getting a routes is 0 0.95. So you take your probability of not getting a Ralts twice in a row, and the probability of that not happening is your probability of getting a Ralts once out of those two. So then your probability goes from 0 0.5 to 0 0.975. So if we um, cube it, so if we do three encounters, now we're going up to 14%. So that's how, that's how math works, everybody. <laughs> That's the opposite. That's the probability of two misses in a row. Yeah. Because one minus. Yeah, that's what. That's how it works. No. So the probability of... Alright, I've got three misses in a row. Alright, that's 0.95 cubed. That's three misses in a row. So the probability of getting one Ralts is one minus three misses in a row. Because it's if you don't get three misses in a row, that means you got a Ralts one of those times. So that. So to get up to 14%. So if we go up to like... 10 encounters, now we've got a 40% chance of getting a Ralts within 10 encounters. The cubed doesn't look right. 
I, I'm assuming it, it did the math correctly. Yeah, now it's correct. I was saying, oh, you were saying before. Oh, okay, yeah, thanks, Manny, for correcting me earlier. Oh, okay, you didn't see you switch it to 0.95. Yeah, that's what, that was my big mistake at the beginning. Now the math is correct. All right. So I'm sure there's actually a formula to figure out, like, with 95% accuracy. But I don't know that formula. So let's just go up to, like, 50 encounters and see what happens. All right, if we do 50 encounters, we've got a 92% chance of catching a Ralts. Of finding one. So, all right, now everybody, now that you've been educated in math, that is also extremely useful to use in Genshin. Now we'll actually do about 50 encounters, and hopefully catch a Ralts then. <laughs> Blurry for me, easy, and gambling. Oh, it was blurry for you, Lithy. It was wait, is my stream at lower quality for you? Easy and gambling. Oh wait, that's the same as Genshin. Yes. If you play Genshin, you you should know. Genshin is gambling. That's kinda how it works. Alright, Manny says it's good on their end. Oh, you're in mod view, so the viewport is smaller. That makes sense. Good point, Lithy. Good point. Alright, well, while we're just, you know, grinding out this area, trying to find... just waiting for that Ralts to happen, uh, like, I can tell you about the last anime that I watched. Has anybody heard of... Right, I've got to look up what it is in Japanese, but in English, it w it is the Asterisk War. Japanese looks like Gakusen Toshi Asterisk. Has anyone heard of this anime? If you haven't, there's probably there's a good reason why you haven't heard of it. <laughs> um. All right. So, I stumbled across this anime by accident, just, like, on the internet, because I was, like, seeing, reading some reviews for different animes. And this, like, the, the review I saw for this anime was so... It was just, like, so saying, like, how bad the anime was. And, but it said it in such a funny way. That I was like, okay, this anime must be so bad, it's gotta be hilarious if you watch it, like, ironically. So I watched it, and it was pretty funny, slash bad. Alright, Lithy, here's your, um, emote. You, it has been added now. 7TV, I hope you have it installed. <laughs> bad like Ghost Stories bad? I don't know what Ghost Stories is. Is that also an anime that is bad? Like, it was, like, if you go into it thinking it's going to be good, you're going to be disappointed. It was not good. But if you go into it thinking it's going to be bad, it is good because it's hilariously bad. Like, it's not that, it's not actually that bad, but it is like, oh, infamous Ghost Stories dub. Well, okay, everybody knows about Ghost Stories. I don't know about it. I, don't know, I, I think it was not like Ghost Stories. The dub is so bad because the dub people just did their own dub. Oh, okay, it wasn't that bad. Like, the dub, all right, because I was watching a bad anime, I purposely watched the dub to make it, to try to make it even worse. The dub was actually really, like, done pretty well. Like, as well as they could. The guy who voices Zhong Li is in it. Like, Keith Silverstein was in this anime, really? Why would he? And then also Bennett and Xing Cho, voice actor, um, Christina V was also in it. Like, they got good voice actors, but, like, the story just wasn't the greatest. Lily says, Ghost Stories was a very mediocre anime, but then for the dub, they changed it up and just did whatever they wanted. Wow. All right, is the emote working for you? I would need to refresh, because I'm not seeing it yet. Wait, where's the message that's like, oh, Nathan added it through 7TV. That's weird. 
I don't know. If it's not working, let me know, and I don't know, maybe I'll fix, fix something. So anyway, this anime, all right, it's not like, a it's not terrible. It's just like a very meh anime, and like things in it don't make sense, and like the main character just like makes some weird choices. And, but like, the, they're weird to the point where it's hilarious. Because it's just like, it makes no sense why they're doing some stuff. But like, there was one scene that just like, it killed me. It just made me laugh so hard. Because it's basically like a classic harem anime, where there's the one main character who's the dude, and then all the girls around him are throwing themselves at him, and he's just like, uh, no thanks, I can't spend the night with you. I need to go back to my room. Anyway, he does this thing with one of the girls where he like pats her head, and I'm like, okay, I guess that's their thing. And then this other girl, like, one day, she's just like, You always pat the other girl's head, but you never pat mine. And I was like, What the hell? That's... I, and then he just patted her head, and she was all like, Oh, this is patting my head. Like, okay, that's, that's interesting. And then the other girl, who is his actual love interest, kind of hinted at it that she also wanted a head pat without even saying it out loud though and then he patted her head i'm like what what is this why is everybody so interested in getting their heads patted like it made me laugh so hard that that was a recurring thing but anyway it's like that's like an anime if you just if you just want to laugh at something it was funny he says, clearly Nathan has never gotten his head pat. That is true. I don't think I have gotten my head pat before. What? Is this something that everybody in the world loves? Do you just love getting your head pat? Wait, I couldn't run away. Oh, Ziggy's too weak to run away, probably. Um, what if I surf him? Will I win? It's a great thing. Wait, Manny, you like the head pats? <laughs> That's great, guys. A... Alright, I guess everybody's all about the head pats. Alright, TwitchCon. If I ever see you at TwitchCon, I'll give you all head pats. That's what's happening now. Oh, I should have switched Ziggy after someone else. His name's Stardust, but I call him Ziggy. Cause he's Ziggy Stardust. Nope. Other one. Gotta go to the Pokemon. Wow. Ziggy knows Cut, Surf, and Rock Smash. Perfect. Entire make make her an entire HM Pokemon. Yeah, Tepler can be first. Oh yeah, also, so today, I said like way earlier when stream started, I was like, I did some interesting stuff today, and then I never talked about it. Lithy says, why don't you catch a low tad? I already have. Haven't I? Doesn't it have the Pokemon Pokeball symbol? Wait, have I not ever caught a Wurmple? <laughs> so that I won't be sad? No, it did- what? Okay, I- what, you want me to catch a low tad, Lithy? Alright, yeah, how does Wurmple not even have the Pokeball symbol? I want you to catch them all! Alright, fine. We'll catch we'll catch them all. A ball that works better on weaker Pokemon. Wait, should I wait, maybe I should save that one for Ralts. Maybe I'll just go actually get some Pokeballs. That we can use. Oh, well. Accidentally hit the grass. I'll just fly there. Alright, Lithy. I shall catch you a Lotad and a Wurmple. But that's it. Then we're getting then we're getting the Ralts. Just use your great balls. I think they're they're too great. They're a little too great for those Pokemon. You gotta save them. 
you can't just give your great balls to anybody, you know? You gotta make sure the person you give your great balls to deserves it. <laughs> you know, they gotta be gentle. <laughs> you gotta save them for marriage. <laughs> Alright, everyone, save your great balls for marriage. Like, because once you've caught them, that's when you actually need to use the good balls. Alright, Lotad is a good boy. <laughs> is Lotad a good boy? Are we gonna have a good boy, Lotad? Alright, Mart is right over here. Not any specific kind of Mart, it's just the Mart. Uh, whoa, not that many. No, thank you. There we go. Alright, we'll take 10 Pokeballs. Oh, wait, did I just get a free Premier Ball? Um, excuse me, did I just get a free Premier Ball? Yeah! Didn't that happen last time? I don't know if anyone was here last time, but I remember buying, yeah, every 10 Pokeballs you get a Premier Ball. I swear, last time I bought 10 Pokeballs and I didn't get a free Premier Ball. I was like, what is this? Where's my free ball? So that was interesting. Anyway, as I was saying, earlier today, I did, it, it, like, my first ever escape room. <laughs> Lovely says, whoa, my premier ball has dug forward. What about yours? <laughs> uh, let me just look in my premier ball. Holy crap, Lithy, mine also has dug forward. What are the chances we have the same premier in our premier ball? Wait. Yes. Doug Ford is our premier. I think. I pay attention to Ontario. <laughs> the joke is premier is the Canadian version of a governor. Alright. If people are living in the United States of America and you know what a governor is, our equivalent is the premier. All right, we're trying to catch Wurmple straight, no damage. Wurmple caught. All right, Lethe, I hope you're happy. We caught a friggin' Wurmple. All right, you can name it if you'd like. All right, what's this Wurmple called? Should we call him Purple Wurmple? There's not enough letters for that. P-U-R-P-L-E. W R U M. We can call him Purple Worm, but that's as low. That's as all we get. All right. First person to yell out a name in chat, I will name our Wormple that. Go. Alright, there, it was me. <laughs> I yelled out a name in chat. That's what it's named it. That's what we're gonna name it. I, s I threw out some letters. And this is its name now. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. <laughs> Lithy says, sorry, I was playing guitar. Well, I'm sorry, Lithy. I'm sorry you have real things to do with your life. Making sweet music in the real world. I'm trying to create a Pokemon legend here. How about ASDF, ASDF, ASDF? Too late, you were, you were too slow. We're already going with Blargnagon. He, oh, he's gonna be Blargnagon everybody. All the time. All right, we got a Blargnagon. Also known as Wormple. Alright, now the Wormple's- yeah, it's got the Poke symbol. Alright, 
Alright, so I went to an escape room for the very first time today. And I can't believe it. Like, we we got, like, the hardest level of escape room you can possibly get. And we were actually really close to finishing it. It's kind of sad when, like, you don't finish an escape room. But it was really interesting. Oh, here we go! Look what we got. It's Ralt's time. Alright, forget about the escape rooms. We're friggin' catching a Ralt's now. Um, Leaf Blade! No. That would instantly kill it. Level 4 only. Let's try... Kill it! <laughs> kill it with fire! And he says, wait, when you were so close to finishing the escape room, it is painful. Yeah, it was so painful. We were close. And then, like, they came in at the last second. And they were like, oh, you were close. You just need to do this. And then, like, we did the one thing that we were stuck on. And then we got the code I needed to open uh, the safe. So then I put the code in the safe and we, it opened. And, like, we won. So I was like, dang it. Premier Ball or rut, Bust? Wait, isn't the Premier Ball just the same... I'm on, I'm modding myself if you don't premier ball. All right, Lethe, we will premier ball. It's just the same as the Pokeball, right? It just looks nicer. What? Huh? Hey! Oh, what? What? It did three like w w topple thingies. Three wobbles. Three little wobbles. And it didn't get caught? Dang. Alright, Lithy, I'm sorry, your Premier Ball did not work. We're gonna try the Pokeball. One, two, three. Heck yeah! Alright, we finally caught Ralts. Wait, but you, did you. But you did try at least so my mod powers remain. That is true. I did give it an attempt. We tried to catch it with a Premier Ball. Alright. We're given Ralts a nickname. Now this one is definitely going to be named after someone in chat. I know Flash Fox wanted to be named after Ralts. She is not currently here. So... If you strongly would like to... Uh, no, no, Lithy. I'm not. We we're not gonna give it a non-person in chat name. If someone here would rather be called Ralts, I shall name it after you. Otherwise, it's gonna be Flash. Flash will get Ralts named after her. She said. She said she really wanted it. All right, Manny makes a good point. It is also a female Ralts, so it would fit her. That works. <laughs> Lithy says, "Can you name it, Weenus?" Was that the name of my Oblivion character? It was! Heck yeah. That was your Oblivion character, Levy. You're a weenus. Alright. Let's go. Perfect that it works out. It's a female Ralts. Alright. Flash spells her username with a 1. So we start with F... 1... Ash Fox. Dang. Alright. Flash is gonna be mad we didn't catch it with her here. But she missed out. Yeah, spelling on the Game Boy. Very easy. They gotta, like, move all around the alphabet like this. Alright. We caught a Flash Fox. Alright, now to never use it. Just kidding, we'll probably have to, we'll probably use it at some point. But for now, let's go try out the new gym. Over in Lily Cove. Cause we just got to Lily Cove, so I wanna see like what's going on here. Wait, isn't there some sort of... Wait, is there even a gym here? I don't remember seeing one. 
But there's something going on with Team Aqua here. Yeah, do we have to get them out of out of town? Or what's the deal? Do we go in here? Hello, what is this place? Oh, it's the museum. Ma oh, Ma's Deep is the next gym. So there's no gym here, okay. So I guess we gotta do something with Team Aqua here. Grass Pokemon swaying in the breeze. Is the... Oh, maybe we don't have anything to do in the museum yet? Um, I guess maybe I haven't seen the collection of paintings yet. Ah, ah then. Let me not disturb you. Please, do take your time. Alright, Manny says, so if you go to the ocean, there is a hideout. They tell you at the door what to do next. Oh, I think I remember that. They did say, oh yeah, they were saying a bunch of stuff. They were like, oh, but you didn't hear it from me. Or, I didn't say anything. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so there's this guy. Who doesn't say anything. When he gets right down to it, the same way suits... Wait, the same way suits suit me perfectly. A crisp breeze suits the sea. And you, a berry, suits you to a T. Why should that be so? Whoa, we just got our raspberry. Well, that's nice. Alright, so the, yeah, these guys. They say some stuff. Alright, we moved our loot into our secret hideout today. <laughs> Who are you? I was just talking to myself. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know what the boss is thinking. But being on Team Aqua, I'll know I'll get the chance to do big things. Okay, wait. Maybe not that guy. Your cabin. Oh, wait. I think we got close to it last time. They call themselves the Nature Loving Team Aqua. But what they do and what they say don't match at all. Do they. Do they not hug the nature? There. There. Whalmer. Leap out of the water now. Huh? What do you want? You're messing up our training. So can you, like, get lost? Sure, dude, I'll get lost in thought about how good Pokemon is. Wait, is it? Wait, where's the hideout? I thought it was, I thought it was, oop, okay, well, I accidentally went into this house. Sure, why not? Let's say hi to this guy. Huh? What was that? I'm not near awake yet. You can have this. Wow, well, TM44, not bad. Oh, you surf onto it. Nice. Wait, I should... I'm gonna add the backseating aloud tag. Because I like having backseating when I play Pokemon. Sleep is essential for good health. Sleep and regain health. Can I sleep here? No. Alright, so we're going to the beach and surfing upwards. bike. Um, alright, I guess we'll go over here. Stardust, you surf. Oh, would you look at that. There's the hideout. What? What? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here. He's gone off to snatch something important. Where did he go? Wah! <laughs> Do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? Maybe your partner will. What? What? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't he's on his way to Mount Fire on Route 122. Why did he go? <laughs> do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? Wait. Did this guy say why? Oh, so he's snatching something important from Mount Pyre. Alright, so that's how this works. Wait, can I just fly from here? Probably. Let's give it a shot. Just fly straight to Mount Pyre. Not summary. Wait, what? What just happened? Fly. Oh, okay, we get, can't use that here. Dang. I guess this counts as a cave then. 
Why can't you just fly out of the cave? Yeah, you gotta leave the cave first. It's a closed area. Too bad, too bad. You can't just be like, get on my swallow and swallow, fly me out of the cave. That would be convenient. But you gotta use an escape rope for that, probably. Alright, so we said Route 122, which is... Over... here? Wait, where's Route 122? 119. 123. Wait, but Mount Pyre is like near Laverage Town, right? So let's just go out of... I don't know where 122 is, but we're just gonna go to Laverage and... Mount Pyre's around there somewhere. Yeah, Laverage, yeah. And there's like... Oh, wait, there's the... The thing. Wait, Nikki's... Nick, not Nikki T says, that sentence sounds dirtier than it is. Wait, which sentence? I don't remember what I just said. Wait, don't go... Wait, if you go right, you take the fairy... Th yeah, the fairy thingy trolley. Oh yeah, over here. I right, welcome in, not Nikki T. How's it going? Yeah, so, oh yeah, so it's up here and to the right. There it is. Alright, not Nikki T. Do you have any preferences on how I pronounce your name? Should I just say Nick for short? Does that make it easier? Alright, so there's... Wait, Mount Chimney. Kibble Car, that's the name. Ah, oh, that is it, Manny. Wait, this is Mount Chimney. I thought this was Mount Pyre. Oh! Hop on my swallow, we'll get out of here. Alright, that is a little funny. Wait, so if this is Mount Chimney, where the heck is Mount Pyre? <laughs> oh yeah, clearly it's not Nikki T. Alright, you make a you make a fair point, Lithy. Make a fair point. So, I guess if it's not Nikki T, then it's gotta be Ricky Z. Welcome in, Ricky Z. How you doing? <laughs> oh wait, Mount Pyre is left of the Lily Cove City. Alright, to be fair, I also thought this was Mount Pyre. Wait, Mount Pyre is the graveyard one with the spooky ghosts. I don't think I've been there yet. Route 120? 21? Oh, it's right here. So I was gonna go there earlier. Before we were going to catch the route, so that was... I probably wouldn't have gotten there anyway. Under the Safari Zone. Ooh, it's spooky. Oh my god, is it Halloween? Is it Halloween? Is it, ha is it Halloween for anyone else? Oh, do we... Oh, okay, I think I know where we're going now. Turn the lights off, gamers. It's about to get scary. Alright. Spooky time. This is getting spooky. This Halloween, it's uh, Spookle Wear X. Spook Wear X. That's my name now. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. You get Halloween too. Does anyone want to do it? We could do a Nightmare Before Christmas stream. <laughs> Streamer lighting bad. All right, back to normal lighting. Well, this is I'm down. Yeah, that that could be fun. Ooh, but I also wanted to do something else. <laughs> That'd be cool. Can you play the mommy game? Wait, find yourself? Lithy, are you talking about find yourself? The one I was talking about, the game I was talking about last time? With the spooky mommy? Yes. Ooh. I probably, yeah, we could play that game. It'll be a little bit less scary since I already know where all the jump scares are now. But maybe we would, like, we'd give it a shot. 
or maybe even play one of the other Amico game, Amico Studios games. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a, a single guy who makes all these horror games, and they're all really good. It's surprising. Wait, but wait, what do you wanna play? I don't know, any one of those games. I was actually gonna maybe do more Dead Space. Because we're like halfway through Dead Space. But an actual scary game could be fun. Because I don't consider Dead Space like super horror y. Yeah, I'm bug slash grass against a wingle. It's mm, not super great. We can probably beat it though. Alright, but I also had another idea for a different kind of stream I wanted to try next week. Would anybody be interested in, just for like a little bit of the stream, doing some caroling? Some Twitch caroling? I thought that like might be an interesting thing to try. Like how it would work, I'd assume. <laughs> Liz says what? Yeah! Like how it would work is... Everybody goes in, like, Discord and connects to a voice chat. And then we go into another streamer's chat and we get them to watch the stream. And the stream is, like, I'm showing us all singing through the Discord. Like, the audio is, like, the audio is going through Discord and I'm piping the audio into the stream. So, the like, we could sing songs. Is, like, does that sound interesting to anyone? Oh my god, I still haven't updated that. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, like, I don't know, I feel like some other streamers, like, might find that fun. We just, like, pop into their chat, we sing a song. And to, like, make it more Twitch-esque, I would, like, rewrite the lyrics to some Christmas songs to be, like, Pokemon-themed or Genshin-themed. So it's not like just straight up Christmas songs. It's like Twitch Christmas songs. Oh dang, this is a straight up graveyard. This is the final resting place of my Zigzagoon. I cherished it. Well, here lies the dead, dead Ziggies. All right, does this count as Route 122? <laughs> Betty says, I see the A's Bay is still there. It is. I always forget that it is there every time. And then, like I say, I'm going to go change it after stream. But then I always do everything else after stream. And forget to change it. Alright, what were... What are we doing on Route 22? Oh, the boss. The boss is here. Ooh, Mask Potion. Nice. Alright, maybe I'll just do it on stream. I'll change the thing. Alright, what's it called again? Uh, is this one. Alright, here's the update one. Alright. Alright, A is Bay is now gone. Alright, no one has to say A is Bay anymore. A is old news. Now it's all about Shen He <laughs> Do it, you won't. Alright, Lethe. Look what just happened. Let's go check out this grave. It looks important. Well, we found a Max Ether in someone's grave. Rip. Lethe says, Alright, my last night is catching up to me now, so I'm getting really sleepy. Wow, didn't you go to bed? Early last night, Lithy? Or did you leave early to go practice stuff? Gonna hit the hay. Alright, Lithy. You go get some sleep. Get some rest. Oh, yeah, but I woke up like a billion times in the night. Oh, man, that sucks. Oof. And then woke up really early. Ooh. That does not sound fun. So sleep was very poor quality. Yeah, that does not sound fun, Lithy. So, yeah, definitely go get some good rest tonight. I hope you get better sleep tonight. <laughs> Manny says, classic mess... Messed up, messed up sleep schedule. Yeah, get some nice rest. Alright, please have a good badge, Lithy. 
I hope you feel much better and more well-rested tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Thursday. And after that comes Friday. And then next comes Saturday. And then Sunday comes afterwards. Okay, it says, Mod's not in chat, so feel free to spam. What lovely parting words, Liffy. How wonderful. Thank you for those words. Now go get on. Get out of here. Go get some sleep. Uh, what do we get on? Oh, wow. The graves just give us items. <laughs> ah, yes. True words of wisdom. Yep, Lithy's he's got plenty of words of wisdom. Like Weenus. Oh, these graves aren't giving us anything. I thought it was all the gold ones. The gold graves have gold in them. Guess not. I'm still checking them anyway. Eh? Eh? No. Dang. Okay, we're still Mount Pyre. Oh, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Is the Team Aqua. If you came earlier, you only would have had to battle the Wimpy Team Magma. But since you arrived now, you have to take us take on us toughies. Yes, you sound extremely tough when you call yourself a toughy. That makes me ooh, I'm quaking in my boots. But it does have a Carvana. So, a bug grass type versus a fish water type. Fish isn't the type. But let's just do a leaf blade and should be fine. Yeah, nice, good old, super effective. Oh, the roughs. Every time. The leaf blade. I'm like, how do I get hurt when I do a leaf blade? I'm throwing the leaves. Uh, what? Apparently, are the leaves just attached to our tippler's arms? Hey, some zinc. Can I get those minerals in? Alright, no other minerals for us to consume. <laughs> yeah, so leaves are part of his arms. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because I guess if it's leaf blade, if it was razor leaf, that is when the leaves pop off and then they go and shoot at the enemy. So I guess that makes sense. Leaf blade, I can get hit, hurt from like their skin and things. But razor leaf, if I get a razor leaf at some point, that one should not hurt me. And I will be very upset if it does. No, those Team Magma goons got here ahead of us. We can't fall behind. Uh, I like trying to give different people different voices, even though they all look exactly the same. Maybe I should give them all the same, like, dumb henchman voice. Uh, what's good against the Zubat? Um, yeah, Rock's good against flying. My god. Alright, Geochad. I want Geochad to turn into a golem at some point. Of course he used the thing that makes him confused. They... That's Zubat's signature move. That's what they do. Alright, throw the rocks. Man, he says, oh, so something that is in all games before Gen 4. All, even if it says otherwise. All grass-type moves are special, not physical. Types determine special or physical. Oh. So that's how it works. Interesting. Wait, but does special mean... Wait, does it matter if it's special or physical? Are you saying, like, special I shouldn't get? Um, like like, physically touch the Pokemon, so they shouldn't be able to affect me? Ooh, 
I don't know who I have in my second slot, as usual. Oh, I know. You tried to join Team Magma, but they wouldn't have you. Well, don't think that we'll let you join our Team Aqua. Special is based on special attack, and physical is regular attack. Contact and non-contact is different. Okay, that was the main thing I was complaining about. Contact versus non-contact. So, I'm also not particularly well-versed in Pokemon damage. Oh my god, Ziggy was in the second slot. Jeez. Just wanted to mention since I remember it. Okay. I guess that helps. I don't really know, like, what special damage versus physical damage is. And why I, Oh, wait, I guess... Okay, I guess I kind of know. Like, special damage is based on your special attack, and physical damage is based on your regular, just, attack stat. So if you've got high special attack, you want to do special attack moves. Um, yeah, Wilmer will get that Leaf Blade, and Ziggy Stardust is going to get swapped. To... Large Pogs? Wait, dark versus dark. Not necessarily what I want. Uh, who do I want to get leveled up more? I kind of want Geochad to evolve. Does Absol evolve into anything? I think it does. I think it evolves into some cool stuff. So I kind of also want Absol to evolve. Yeah, and same goes for defense. Defense, tanks, attack, special defense, tank, special defense. Geochad cannot evolve. Wait. He doesn't evolve at a certain level? Do I need to do something special? No! He's a trade evolution? Welp. Alright. That was an accident then. I should not have... Oh, of course. No, we don't want to learn Tail Whip. Yes. Oh my god, Stardust. One little battle in Stardust is going all the way. Alright, well, um, I'll keep Geochad to, to fight the Zubat, and then I'll switch out to level up Abs Absol. Because that'll be nice to get someone evolved. Dang, I didn't know he was a trade evolution. Or I probably did, and forgot a long time ago. Whoa, I don't want to Leaf Blade my own, my own carrot Pokemon. All right, let's go rock throw that Zubat. And holy crap, I just got a notification. Panicu is live now on Twitch. <gasps> she says, Ido, kind of pog, not gonna lie. All right, if you want to watch Panicu, she is live right now. Oh, why? Why is Stardust getting so many levels? Is it because it came out that one time at the beginning of the fight? That's interesting. Wait, Kaida says, yup, really? So it just keeps getting experience? That's... That's not exactly what I want. I want my experience to be on, like, the Pokemon that I have out right now. Dang, yeah, says Manny. That's unfortunate. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with that then. And we'll be able to finish this just fine. Oh, uh, let's not magnitude. Let's do a... Wait, no, not rock. Let's do strength. Yo, Clay with another tongue twister. Oh my god, this one... This one actually looks like it might be pretty hard. Yo, Tipler got a level, sweet. Alright, we finished this. I'll do the Tongue Twister right after we get out of this. If you want to join Team Aqua that badly, we can consider it. Oh, we got some money. Alright, let me let me see this. Alright, so the Tongue Twister is... Wow, it's pretty long, too. Through three cheese trees... Three free fleas flew. 
Oh, while these fleas flew, Freezy Breeze blew. Freezy Breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy Trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what I made, these three free... Th these... Even slow. That's what I made, these three free fleas sneeze. Oh, that's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Oh, that part. I'm gonna... That part is gonna be the hardest part. Alright. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. Clay, I think you are going to kill me with this tongue twister. This is really hard. Oh my god, trying to do this fast? Holy crap. Alright. Through three cheese... Through three cheese tree, through three cheese tree, three free fleas flew. <laughs> Alright, the first, that first and the last sentence are so hard. Alright, you can do it. Thanks you for, thank you for the confidence, Clay. Alright, through three cheese, alright, maybe I'll just start slow and get faster. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. Through three cheese, through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. All right, let's go with that. That's fast enough. Through three cheese, tr through three. Ch yeah, I'm getting it right. The thing is, I'm getting it right, and I'm. It feels like it's wrong, but it is right. right. Through three cheese trees, three flea free fleas flew. While these free fleas, while these while these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three fleas freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. All right, I'm going to copy this and put it in something where I can have bigger text just to make it easier to read. Alright. Maybe I'll put it in... Wait, what if I just zoomed in Twitch? That would make it... Oh yeah, I'm zooming in Twitch. Super far. And that did not work as how I thought it would. Alright, here we go. That's a bit easier to read now. Alright. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, Freezy Breeze blew. Freezy Breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy Trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free flea sneeze. Ooh, got through it without any mistakes. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna do it one more time just to see if I can do it a little bit faster. Alright. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, Freezy Breeze blew. Freezy Breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy Trees made these trees trees freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Heck yeah. Alright, took a little practice, but we can friggin' do it. That's all it takes, just a bit of practice, and you can get there. That's a life lesson, everybody. Just practice, and you can achieve anything. Alright, yeah! Hype it up. Thank you so much for that tongue twister, Clay. That was fun stuff. Wow, that was a, that was a good challenging one. Uh, Clay always coming in with the cool tongue twisters. Alright, I guess Archie is the boss here. Alright, so what's, you know, big old good boss, boss type voice? Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The red orb preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. <laughs> now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. Alright, that's his voice now. Clay says, yeah, you get tackle with difficult. The sound. Wait, what is that? Wait, what? You get tackle with difficult the sound. I don't know what that means, Clay. Is that a... Are you translating that from something? Oh, I forgot the lady is speaking to me. Not... Not only the... Not... Not... Old lady voice. Old lady voice. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men trying to do with the two orbs? Oh yes! Was it Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. 
I would like you to have it. Perhaps it will be useful in some way. All right, Clay says, oh, TH in these. Three, that's and through. Yeah, the TH part. Like, that does make it difficult. Because you got to flip-flop. Especially when they throw in the cheese and the trees. Then it's like, oh, those are not the... And the fleas. So it's like, sometimes you're doing the TH, the THE sound, and sometimes you're not. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. Oh, that was fun. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. Day. If I took like an hour to practice that, I could get it super fast, and that would be pretty fun. Alright, wait, so we got a magma emblem or something. Mount Pyre is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of Hoenn. The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. Is it coincidence that you are here? Will you hear out my tale? A tale long told in the Hoenn region. Uh oh, do, are we gonna listen to a long story? We're gonna listen to this story for a long time. Let's do it. It happened long, long ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Alright. This isn't... This is Pokemon. Alright. The world was racked by a ferocious clash between the Pokemon of the land and the Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive infernos and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and, and becalmed the enraged adversaries. The pair made docile, dove deep into the sea, where they eventually they disappeared. Okay, so is he saying the two legendary Pokemon that we that are in this game are in the sea somewhere? Do we like dive down into the sea at some point and wake them up to catch them? Ooh, it's one of it's a Shupit. Shupit? Question mark? I doubt that grass is gonna be. All right, it's just yeah, regular effectiveness. Like grass versus ghost, probably nothing special. No, oh, nothing here. Okay. Ooh, and then a dust skull. Oh, okay, so we're in the graveyard. So of course we're getting all the ghost Pokemon. Of course, that makes sense for sure. All right, critical hit. All right, now what do we? I guess we just should maybe just fly back. We shall fly back to Team Aqua and go back to their hideout. That seems like a good plan to me. I'll give it a shot. All right, back to Lily Cove City. All right, we shall bike over to the Cave of Wonders. Wait, the Cave of Wonders. Is that the thing from like that unicorn video? Oh, Lurk, enjoy catching Pokemon. I will play Genshin. All right, thank you for Lurk and Clay. Have a good time playing some Genshin. Wait, okay, Nix is from Aladdin. Oh, it's from Aladdin. Is the Cave of Wonders. And that's where, like, the lamp is in. And then they go in there and... Yeah, all this stuff happens. Alright, now this changes. Okay. Dang, wait, so then what's... What's, like, that weird... Video with, like, the, the unicorns. The two unicorns. There's, like, a pink one and a blue one. And, like, they go to... Oh, wait, they're going to Candy Mountain. That's where they're going. Wait, but when they get to Candy Mountain, is the Cave of Wonders in Candy Mountain? 
But dang, Nick, I can't believe you you remembered Aladdin has the Cave of Wonders. I just clicked through this. What, what? Are you a Team Magma grunt? I hear that Team Magma is trying to awaken an awesome Pokemon at their hideout. But where might their hideout be? Oh, I want to go to where they're awakening an awesome Pokemon. I would like an awesome Pokemon myself. Oh, wait, so they're after an awesome Pokemon at Mount Chimney. But what is that Pokemon like? Oh, okay, so this guy says it's an awesome Pokemon. This guy says they're at Mount Chimney. That's the plan. All right, I'm gonna look up this video. Because I know this is a thing. Um, unicorns. Uh, Candy Mountain. All right, oh, it's Charlie the Unicorn goes to Candy Mountain. That's what it is. Okay, so then they go to Candy Mountain and there's a cave. It's the Candy Cave. Oh, all right, yeah, it's not called the Cave of Wonders. It's just a cave and it's filled with magical, mystical candy and wonders. All right. If all right, I'm go I'll post the link to it in stream. If you haven't watched it, if you haven't seen this video yet, check it out. It's kind of funny. It's a different sort of humor. So, it's it may not necessarily be your style of humor. It's it wasn't my style of humor when I first watched it. It took me a couple tries and then I laughed. But it is very interesting for sure. All right, so now we're out here. And we can fly to Mount Chimney this time. Back to Laverage, and now, well, at least now we know exactly how to get to Mount Chimney. The fast way. Oh, that was cool. There's like a little animation at the end after you fly of your bird Pokemon, or whatever Pokemon you use to fly, that ends up, it like comes into the Pokeball in your hand. That's pretty cool. Kinda says, I haven't thought about that video for so long. Maybe like seven years? Same here. I have not thought about that video in a long time. Uh, but it was pretty funny for a bit. Dang, Kaede, is that your style of humor? Do you like, like, the other videos on that channel? Because I think, like, I that one made me laugh, there was another one that made me laugh, but then the other ones were just, like, really weird. Alright, Team Magma, mod check. Alright, I'm on Mount Chimney. Do I need to touch this thing? Mysterious Machine, no response. This person is just always just going. Just, like, constantly. She's just, like, running in place. She cannot calm down. Alright, where could Team Magma be? On Mount Chimney. Where the grass goes thick. And the trees are slimy. Oh, they only have two videos? What? Oh, this looks like a repost. Where's the original? Oh, yeah, Film Cow. That's the original one. All right, wait, all right, I shall try to find the original and post that and delete my other one. Unless it's no longer on YouTube. Wait, Charlie to Unicron, episode two, okay. Wait, Charlie to the Unicron two, okay, there, here it is. All right, I'll post the correct one. Let's, oh, I can't delete my own messages. Well, um, Everybody ignore the first one. Don't touch that YouTube link. Only go to the second one. Because they're the people who actually made the video. And they deserve the view. That's not... That's really uncool that someone else can just upload someone else's video. That shouldn't be able to happen on YouTube. Oh, this boulder is shaking in response to the magma emblem. 
Well, what do you know? There's the secret hideout. All right. Maybe I will prep my Pokemon because I might need to probably need to battle. Let's throw out large bugs first. And I guess probably Geochad. They seem like they should be able to handle some fire type Pokemon, maybe? Is that what Team Magma is going to come at me with? Oh, dang. I wish I had some other Pokemon to take out this Torkoal. All right, Large Pugs, do your. Um. Razor Wind? Oh, Torkoal's protecting itself, but. I'm just whipping up a whirlwind next time it'll get hit. Nope, it happened right now. Perfect. And that was not very strong. What does Swords Dance do again? I'm not familiar with Swords Dance. Oh, it raises my attack. Nice. Kind of says, I only remember one other video I watched from them, and it's their llama with hats where Carl... Oh, yeah, the llama with hats and Carl. All right, I remember that one. It it's like it started off funny, and then it just got darker and darker. And I was like, the first one was funny, but it, you keep going, and then it gets a bit less funny. But it, it's like, it's weird slash dark humor. Wow, using Razor Wind is kind of... Whoa! That Sword Stance really increased my attack by a lot. That is surprising. Ah. But how are you doing, Kaede? What are you up to in general and things? All right, we're going to move some boulders. Oh yeah, we're in a cave, so we just get hit by stuff wherever. Hmm, Absol, probably not the best to go against rock Pokemon. I'll start off with a Swords Dance, and then I'll get him with something else later. Um, biting a rock? Kinda says, I slept most of the day since I'm on break. Currently trying to fix the Albedo's artifacts. Oh, on break? Oh yeah, cause you're in school? So you're on break from school right now? And fixing Albedo's artifacts. So does that mean you're just like grinding the new, um, the new artifact domain? Oh, so close to getting it in one shot. Alright, I just need a level on large pogs. Dave, that's awesome that you have Albedo. I I wish I had Albedo. But I decided to save for Shenha. But we'll see how that decision turns out. Cause it would be awesome if I got her though. Yep, I got two breaks between quarters. Use my condensed resin for the day. Now I'm seeing if I can swap any out. Nice. Dang, using all the condensed resin gets some artifacts. Oh, all right, two week break. Oh, okay. Dang, all right, two week break. That's pretty good. All right, so you've got like most of the... Wait, do you actually have to go back like the last week of December? So it's this week and next week? Dang, that would be unfortunate if you have to go back when it's, like, Christmas slash New Year's time, the week after. I go back pretty much- oh, right after New Year's! Alright, that's pretty sweet. That's not too bad. So that amount of break time sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, I'm kind of 
Yeah, I'm gonna get a week worth of break. Like, I probably could take more off of work. But a week is, like, decently enough. Especially because, like, I'd rather, like, space out my vacation time throughout the year. Rather than use too much at once. Ooh, of course, normal attack isn't going to be very effective against a rock type. And I'm dead. That rollout got stronger as it does. Oh, why am I not using cast form? Cast form would be perfect here. Well, I can probably finish it with GeoChat, and then I'll switch out to cast form. That'll be a good move. Oh yeah, strength, of course, is not going to be strong, but it's... Do I have any moves that can do anything against it? Ooh, well, it used rollout. Maybe I'll use rollout, too. Alright, it's a rollout war now. It's the Geodude versus the Graveler rollout war. Oh my god, I can't win. And I'm dead. Alright, well, let's let's take out a bug Pokemon to fight the rock. That's a good idea. Well, I'm doing it anyway. Nah, Templar's got this. Just use a... Yeah, we'll do a Pursuit. They'll probably be stronger than a quick attack. Uh, Alright. Um, Alright, here's the plan. Now we actually should switch out. Put Cast Form first. Alright, Cast Form is going to carry us through the rest of this cave. Hopefully, Team Magma has rock Pokemon. Alright, they found some stuff while digging in the rocks. Interesting. Wait, a Poochiana? That's not what I was expecting. Um... Um... Well, uh, let's do a sunny day. Let's do something that is something. Yeah, that makes sense. They, the Poochianas in this game, they always want to smell you. That's their go-to move. The first move, they sniff. And then they attack. But sometimes they don't. They just keep sniffing. Because they don't know what to do. After they odor sleuth you. But I can't believe how friggin' OP cast form is in this game. It always surprises me. What are these things? And what's up here? Nothing. Ooh, there's a... Okay, how do we get up there? That's interesting. Alright, now we're in a different part of the cave. Got it. So it seems like, I guess, no random encounters here because it's in Team Magma territory. Alright, does anybody have plans for, you know, the holidays, the break time? Because my plans are to try to make YouTube videos, or just make my stream better. I mean, other than, you know, like, visiting family and Christmas and stuff. Because, like, that's the general, you know, holiday stuff that people do. Well, like, what other stuff is there? Yeah, I'm not sure if traveling is going to be a thing this holiday season with, you know, the pandemic thing still happening. Free in cast form. 
of course it was a super effective move, but it's still also like decently high leveled. Oh wait, I was wrong. Still more random encounters here. Uh, and then we'll take two moves for cast form to take it out. But we do a rain dance. Oh, I only have five PP on rain dance. Now I kind of wish I had saved that rain dance for something else. But we should possibly, maybe, if we're lucky, perhaps we can one shot it. Yeah, get your water droplets all over that graveler cast form. Dang, I moved two steps. Two steps! And we get into a fight. Wait, I have repels. I should be using my repels right now. That would be helpful. So that we don't get all these unnecessary random encounters. I mean, I also could have brought... Oh my god, do I even have a decent water Pokemon? I think I might not. Because I didn't pick the water Pokemon as a starter. All I've got is grass. <laughs> you rouse you rouse my suspicion. What suspicion am I rousing here? T Magma Grunt? That's her name. She doesn't even get a like a real person's name. She's just T Magma Grunt. Oof, how would you like to be called that? Not a good time. And imagine if, like, her pa Like, that's not the name she got when she joined Team Magma. That was just what her parents named her. Ah, yes, welcome into the world. It's a beautiful baby girl. What would you like to name her? I think we'll name her Team Magma Grunt. Doctor, um... Are you sure about that? Are you sure you want to name your child Team Magma Grunt? Yes, that is exactly what we would like to name our child. We know she will be the best Team Magma Grunt in the world. Um, okay, but like, you know, what if she wants to be like a doctor or a scientist or a actor? Nope, nope, Team Magma Grunt for her. Hey, you should just say ay ay ay. Alright, sorry there, Team Magma Grunt. It looks like you have been defeated. And I'm gonna get into a random encounter with this guy. Okay, not random encounter, it's a Poke Battle. It's very much the opposite of random. It's very much on purpose. Alright, Baltoy. Is Baltoy... Rock? Normal? I feel like, what if I do an ice dance? We, we will hail. We'll get some hail in this cave. Because that's how hail works. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oof. All right, it is rock. All right. Well. I can't believe it just used self-destruct. That was the worst possible thing that could have happened. All right, let's just try to take out the next one quicker. Oh, great, Numel. All right, thanks for the help, Nick. It was rock. Let's hope we can kill it in one shot with a weather ball. Otherwise, I don't know what's gonna happen. We might lose our cast form. Oh my god, thank you. We one-shotted it. Wait, I also could just... I also could just do this. Let's go to the bag. We got the Hyper Potion. And... Wait, Hyper Potion might be too much. Cast Form only has 100 
Do I have a super potion anywhere? Super potion? Oh, wait, that's super repel. Dang it! Let's give a super. Let's try. Imagine trying to give a super potion to your Pokemon, but turns out it's a super repel. And you're like, why didn't their HP go up? But then all the other Pokemon around, just you don't see any for an hour. Dang, do I have nothing? I got a soda pop. I got a full heal. That just does status problems, though. Alright, I guess we'll give a soda. Soda pop. To cast form. Alright, not bad. And then we'll do a potion. Close enough. Alright, we're ready to take on this guy. I'm just gonna wait for him to come to me. Uh, almost like the in The Simpsons, where Bart's just like, "All right, I Lisa. All right, I'm just gonna be yo know, kicking, making a this movement with my feet. You can't see my feet, but they're kicking right now. And if you get in my way, it's not my fault." And then Lisa's like, "Well, you know, I'm just gonna be going like this. And if you get in my way, it's not my fault." And then they just walk towards each other, Bart kicking, and Lisa going like that. And then they fight. Ooh, alright. Should I learn my lesson from last time? Should I throw out someone we don't care about? In the hopes that Baltoy will do a self-destruct? Nope, it's gonna Psybeam and instantly murder Stardust. Alright, um... Round two. Maybe take it out with cast form? Maybe? Oh, we're getting low on rain dances here. I might have something that gives PP though. Do any of the berries give PP? Nick, have you played this game? Have you played Gen 3 of Pokemon? I'm gonna do a weather ball. And I think we're gonna kill it. Heck yeah. Zubat? Alright. Maybe we can also take it out in one shot with a weather ball. Alright, here we go. Low on weather balls, we're low on rain dances. Heck yeah. I can't believe Cast Form is our freaking like one shot wonder. That's what we should have named it. Oh wait, someone came up with a really good name for Cast Forum in a previous stream, and I can't remember what it was. Hopefully it'll come back. Yes sir, a couple times. Whoa! Played through it a couple times. Did you play like Ruby or Sapphire? Alright, oh, we got two choices. We go deeper into the cave or we go outside. All right, let's check outside first. See what's out there. Nope, that just goes here. All right, now I want to go the other other way. What if I do this? We run away. Just to save from having to use up more HP and things. Wait, whoa! Deeper into the cave has more enemies. There's so many enemies here! I don't have a bone to pick with you. I'm just following orders. Wait, oh, you played both Sapphire and Ruby. Whoa! But not Emerald. Yeah, I guess Emerald would have come, come out, like, after Sapphire and Ruby came out. Did you play them, like, like, close to when they were originally released. Alright, all I've got is a cast form and a tippler. Alright, what if I... Um, what if I hail? Instead of using a rain dance. And try to take out Numel fast, because Numel is fire, and it will kill us. It will kill our Tippler quickly. 
Oh, thank you, Tipler. Level 39. Gotta take it off. And yo, Zelda! Welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing on this fine evening? Apparently it's hailing right now where, where I am in the game. Well, that is of my own doing. Wait, why did Cas... Did that Mighty Anna just confuse Cas form? Come on. Zelda says, I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but your cam seems to be in the middle of the screen. It was not intentional, Zelda. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. I have been streaming with face, like, large cam. Since, wait, was it since I did the tongue twister? Has it been th that entire time? And nobody told me? Come on, chat. What are you doing out there? Zelda, I appreciate you so much for letting me know that that was the situation. Thank you so much. How's it going? It's going pretty well. We caught Ralts, which was my goal for the stream. So that's pretty great. Yeah, I'll throw a leaf blade on this guy. Should finish it off in one shot, maybe? Nice. So now I actually have a psychic Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Nick says, no, I played a couple years after release and one last year. Oh, so you played like a little bit after it was released and then like you kind of played it again recently. Like, for nostalgia reasons. Or to have some fun. Like, when... I guess after COVID started, you were like, Well, let's play some Pokemon. Have some fun. Oh, these people were... Guarding a full restore. But I cannot pick it up. Alright. Zelda, are you much of a Pokemon person? Have you played the games? Are you interested in the Pokemon? <laughs> All right, we can ignore this guy. There's probably only, like, perhaps just some more items over here. Nick says, that's pretty much exactly what happened. Nice. Uh, you can, can kind of tell when someone says, oh yeah, in about 2020, I started doing this. It's like, ah, pandemic, right? Zelda says, I am not a Pokemon person. I've never actually played a Pokemon game. Wow. That is cool to see someone who like hasn't played it before. I feel like in a way, like, Pokemon, it's kind of... It's kind of one of those things where it's... It's useful to play... Like, to understand references and things to it. But it's not... Like, depending on, like, what kind of games you like, it's not necessarily a game you're going to enjoy. Because there's a decent amount of grinding and... Yeah, it's like, it's a different kind of grinding than other games. It's it's a lot of, you just press buttons. The same button over and over again. Whereas there's some other games, like... Okay, one of my favorite RPGs is Legend of Dragoon. And that game, like, it does require a decent amount of grinding for you to get strong enough to, you know, beat the entire game. And, like, but the grinding is kind of interesting because you gotta do, like, the combos correctly to level up your attacks. So there's always something you're doing. Although it eventually, it does get like a little annoying because you have to do the combos so many times for them to gain levels on the combos. So that's a bit grindy, but at least it, but it's something. Pokemon, it's kind of like, you just, you press the same attack you do every time, you one shot the Pokemon and then they die like that. And then you do it again over and over. I feel like with Pokemon, you can you can kind of 
Well, they do change some things with every release. Like, it's it's a decent amount of fun just to play one, and then it's like, ah, oh, I get it. That was an interesting experience. But also, it might also be cooler if you have a, like, a goal in mind. Like, when I first started playing Pokemon back when I was a kid, like, my goal was to catch them all. It was literally to catch all of the Pokemon. And I got really close. I got, like, over 200. In Generation 2, when there were only, like, 250 Pokemon. Something around there. So I got close, but it's impossible to catch... This is the annoying thing that Pokemon does. It's impossible to catch all of the Pokemon. Because they always release in two games. And all of the Pokemon aren't in each game. There's, like, some in one and some in the other. So you have to buy both games and then trade or something to get all of them in the game. The game. The both games. So, as someone who didn't have, like, the, like, playing on the Game Boy Color, and I didn't have one of those cords that you could use to connect to trade Pokemon with someone else, I was never able to catch them all. Wait, why did my weather ball not happen last time? Oh, because I'm confused. That's what happened. Nice. Alright, so then, then Zelda, if you're not a Pokemon person, what kind of person are you? Do you have any uh, games you particularly like? Alright, uh, we got no room in the bag, but... Yeah, no room for this max elixir. I need to increase my PP. So... Do I have something that gives me uh, more PP? Where are my berries at? Berries? There they are. Um, HP, confusion, HP. Uh, restores 10 PP in battle. I wish I had more Lepa berries. Because I would like a lot more PP than that. Alright, well, we're using a Lepa berry then. Check tag. What does check tag mean? It's spicy, sweet, bitter, and sour. What? It grows slower than cherry and others. The smaller the berry, the tastier. Do you end up... In this game, do you use berries to make food or something? Is that why it matters if it's, like, spicy, sweet, or sour? Are we gonna cast form? More PP on... Weather Ball. Alright, that's where... We're at with this right now. Oh, I guess there's more to this cave. You just keep going deeper. But we can... Oh, am I like half HP? I'm at exactly half HP. We're gonna keep running. They really don't want to let up, do they? All right, I'm going to switch over to background music. Background music coming up. There we go. All right, Kaida says, I believe you make food for your Pokemon using the berries. Oh, okay, I think I that sounds correct. I think I remember hearing something, or reading something in the game, where they're like, you can take your berries and, like, crush them up and make stuff out of them. So I guess that's probably how you do it. You take the berries, crush them up, make the food, and then they would be stronger than just the berries by themselves. Zelda says, I like a lot of different kinds of games. Pokemon in particular... Never looked interesting to me from a gameplay's perspective. Yeah, it's... I think that makes a lot of sense. It's not... When you look at it, it is not that particularly interesting. I 
I wonder if like maybe it gets more interesting if you really get deep into the damage, which I am not doing because this is a casual playthrough. But it might make a difference. So Zelda says, in the Game Boy Advanced era, I was playing games like Mario, Fire Emblem, Zelda, of course, and Mega Man Battle Network. Whoa. All right. I have never played a Fire Emblem game. I think those might be fun. I feel like I might enjoy those. And I know Kyone, she also, like, Fire Emblem are her favorite games. So, like, what's cool about Fire Emblem? I would highly recommend giving it a go if you're interested. Is it, like, is there any similarity to Advanced Wars? Because I feel like I've seen a little bit of gameplay of Fire Emblem. And it kind of looks like you're, like, moving, like, parts of an army around and attacking your enemies. It's, like, it's mostly, mostly a strategy game, right? Nick says, go to a Pokemon contest building. There you make Pokeblocks with them. However, they don't help your Pokemon outside of contests. So no battle benefits. Okay, so that's what the Pokeblocks are for. I've always wondered what, what you do the Pokeblocks for. Wait, so if they don't help you outside of contests, what's the point of doing the contest buildings? What do you get from that? And I believe I'm in an actual fight here, so I'm going to have to do some stuff. Let's go for hail. All right, so Zelda says, yes, a lot of similarity. Advanced Wars is always the closest comparison. Oh, cool. All right, so that, that means I probably would really enjoy Fire Emblem because I have a lot of fun playing Advanced Wars. I really like Advance Wars. Visually, they look very similar, and they both have the grid system and the same style of picking which fights you take, but having the fights play out automatically. Wait, so in Advance Wars, the fights play out automatically, and in Fire Emblem, they don't? You have to do stuff when you get into the fight? Is that how it works? Uh-oh, confusion? Yeah, I'm hurting myself. Oh, they both play automatically. Oh, okay. All right, so that, all right, so there are definitely similarities. So I guess maybe one of the biggest differences is that Fire Emblem has a whole story to it. Cuz I think I've like I have if I were to play Fire Emblem, I might go with Fire Emblem Awakening. Because it's got Lucina. And I definitely think Lucina's a cool character. And I want to know, like, the story. Wait, why am I doing, like, no damage? Have I... I just haven't done the weather ball yet. It just has not hit. Alright, let's heal a bit more. Soda pop. Coming up. All right, Nick says, just ribbons for you, Pokemon. Just something to do for fun on the side. But I think you get some sort of prize if you manage to win all the way to Master Rank contests. Oh. All right, so if we get to Master Rank, then... Yeah, maybe we get something really good. Wait, maybe we get a Master Ball? Would that make sense if we get to Master Rank in the contests and we get a Master Ball? Uh, yes, I want to heal Cast Form. All right, and the main difference is that in Advance Wars, your army consists of generic units of particular types. But in Fire Emblem, your army is made up of persistent characters that level up as the game progresses. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like Advance Wars plus RPG elements. That sounds cool. All right, come on, Weather Ball. Just hit one time, please. Please. Yes, there we go. Uh, the struggle. You just gotta hit him. You just gotta be able to hit him. At all. Uh, yes, it's considered to be in the genre of tactics RPG. What other games are in that genre? <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm wimpy. Alright, Team Magma Grunt. You wimpy Team Magma Grunt. I have won. I bested you. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of tactics RPG genre before. 
I shall go fast with my bike. Nick says, that would be nice, but no, you get the Master Ball a different way. Yeah, I'm sure, I, I guess the Master Ball, you generally get a Master Ball by doing something in the story. It, like, you can't miss the Master Ball in Pokemon. At least that's been my experience so far in the game, the one game that I've played. Or two, I guess I kind of played through Crystal with friends in elementary school. Uh, we're just running. We're saving everything to fight Team Magma. Oh, stuff like Final Fantasy Tactics, Wargroove. And there's this one game called Zone of the Enders that's very similar to Fire Emblem. And a friend in elementary school had it, but I've never seen that game mentioned anywhere else. I don't know why Zone of the Enders sounds familiar. But in general, I don't think I've heard of any of those games. Wargroove, Final Fantasy Tactics. So no wonder I'm not familiar with the tactics RPG genre. I just don't know about the games. Alright. I think, yeah, it's because I guess I mostly stayed to, like, the fairly well-known, just, uh, Nintendo games, like Mario and Zelda, and things like that. Alright, so Awakening is a good one to start with, Zelda. Alright, cool, that is good to know. Yeah, because if I n understand correctly... Fire Emblem takes place over, like, in different eras. And I think Awakening is kind of, like, its own thing. Like, and after... I guess after Marth was king. Because that's why Lucina impersonates him. Hmm. So I'm assuming, like, you don't necessarily need to play previous games that had Marth in them to understand Awakening, but it might just enhance the story if you do. Oh, that guy wants to fight me before I go down this ladder. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this guard posting? My left ear is burning up! Ha, huh, because he's, he's facing the his left ear to the magma. That's kind of funny. Oh, Zubat, really? Really, we're going to do this? And Geochad's dead, right? Yeah, Geochad's dead. Uh, we're just going hail. 100% hail. Yeah, right, it has references to Marth games, but it operates independently. Okay, cool. So I guess maybe, like, as long as you know who Marth is, you don't necessarily have to have played a previous game. You can just jump into it, and it'll still be good. Easy. Super effective. Wait, why is Ice super effective against Zubat? Zubat is flying? Is Ice just strong against flying? Uh, let's go in this place. Ooh, it's the Magma Hideout. Oh, it actually has it has references to a lot of older games, but Marth is much more prominent than other references, since Krom is his descendant. Uh, of course, Krom does look a lot like Marth. So no wonder is his descendant. Cool. Is there anything I can use in my bag so that I can... Oh, I had a PP up. Raises the maximum PP of a selected move. Huh. Should I give that to cast form? Uh. Alright, what do I do with this heart scale? Oh, ice is super effective against flying. That kind of does make sense. Like, if you're flying, you don't want to be, like, in a hailstorm. You don't want to be flying, like, with ice on your wings either. You're not going to be able to fly well. I like when they at least make sense. Ooh, can I evolve someone with my Firestone? Or my Moonstone? Do I have anyone? I don't know if I have anyone. 
Might not. Raises the power of water type moves. Maybe we can give this to cast form? Yeah, sure, why not? Go cast form. Take that. Alright, PP max is probably a good thing to have. We want to max out our PPs. I understand everything that our leader says. And then I click too fast. <gasps> Doing stuff like digging up a super ancient Pokemon and ripping off someone's meteorite. I think we're going a little too far. What do you think? Wow, so this grunt, like this henchman, is actually considering like, hey, maybe I'm on the bad guy's side. Maybe what we're doing here is bad, and I should rethink what's going on. All right, so Zelda says, the first Fire Emblem game I played was Fire Emblem 7, which was the first one released outside of Japan, and is a prequel to Roy's game. Ooh, like, what's the name of that one? Is it just called Fire Emblem 7? Or is there a subtitle? Uh, yeah, let's keep hailing. Yeah, like, at least I know the characters' names because I've played, you know, like, Super Smash Brothers. Got Marth, Roy, and Lucina, and Smash, and Ike, and Krom now. They're all in there. Just so many Fire Emblem characters. And Byleth. Jeez, how many Fire Emblem characters are in Smash now? It was originally released just as Fire Emblem. No way. I guess that kind of makes sense, because if it's the first one released outside of Japan, they're just going to go simple. Just be like, hey, rest of the world, welcome to Fire Emblem. This is the game. But it's referenced in FEH as Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade. And it's a prequel to Roy's game? Is Roy not The Blazing Blade? Oh, Fire Emblem is Fire Emblem Heroes, the mobile game. Okay, I did play Fire Emblem Heroes for a little bit. It came out, and I was like, free Fire Emblem game on my phone? I'll give that a try. Please, cast form, please hit him. Yes. So I played that for a bit, and I, like, finished most of the story, and then I was like, I got bored, because the story wasn't really going anywhere. So then I stopped. Okay, so, oh, Roy's game is called Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. Okay, I just kind of assumed, because in Smash, he's got, like, a fire blade move. So I thought he might be the blazing blade one. Oh, you're playing Fire Emblem Heroes since the second day it released, for about four years. Whoa, did it, like, I feel like there was a slow period. Did it get not slow after a bit? Did it pick up? But also, I think that that's probably just me. I don't really like games on my phone. I just generally find phone games boring. Alright, we might want to... Yeah, give some HP to our cast form. But I guess... <laughs> I guess technically, like, Genshin is a game you can play on your phone. And I still play that, and I haven't found it boring yet. Alright, let's go to the bag. Give, um... Soda Pop. Soda Pop. Alright, go cast form. Alright, Zelda says, it got slow around the third year. And seemed to be picking up in the fourth year. But I was already mentally done with it. So I wasn't really playing the new content in the last few months I was playing. Yeah, when you're mentally done with something. You're kind of just like, you're just going through the motions. And it's like, eh. I'm not, it's not sinking in. I don't care at this point. Uh, sometimes games just end up like that. All right, do you play other mobile games, Zelda? We joined so we can help our leader achieve his fantastic vision. I don't care if you're with the Team Aqua or if you're just some kid passing by. No one interferes with us and gets away with it.
Uh, maybe one part of why I don't like mobile games as much is because I can't listen to the amazing music. Like, that's a big thing that I like about games and media in general. If it's got great music, I'm gonna love it. Alright, Zelda says, I usually pulled at the end of banners, and I pulled the trigger to quit when I missed rolling on a banner that introduced a character I w I'd wanted since day one, and I realized that I didn't care that I missed it. Oh, okay, that's smart. Yeah, when that sort of thing happens, and you realize you're, like, in the realm of apathy. It's like, you know what? Yeah, it's probably, it's probably time to go. It's time to move on. Don't play any other mobile games. Gotcha. All right, that also, that was probably something that, well, maybe a reason I didn't get as much into Fire Emblem Heroes is because I didn't understand gacha back then. Fire Emblem Heroes was technically my first gacha game. Technically my first gacha game that I ever played. And I think I didn't like it because I didn't get how pulling worked. I was like pulling and I like, I just caught getting like mediocre characters. And I was like, I don't understand what is happening. Like, why are these characters all bad? Well, how do I get a good character? But yeah. Uh, not even Genshin. I don't have it installed on my phone. Played Fire Emblem Heroes because it was Fire Emblem. Gotcha, Zelda. Yeah, I don't have Genshin installed on my phone either. Like, I have never played Genshin on my phone. Like, maybe someday I'll do it just to see what the experience is like. But playing on... The PC is gotta be better. Ooh, it's a nugget. All right, we gotta get rid of something else so we can pick up this nugget. Uh, can I just give a random thing to someone? Carbos? Who needs speed? Kaida says, playing on mobile is hard, especially if you have bow characters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, trying to aim with a bow. I can, like, how do you even? How do you even aim with a bow? You gotta, like, move your thumb around on the screen to try to aim it? That does, that sounds really just not easy. Alright, we'll give this to... Oh, everyone's holding something. Alright. Zelda says, the only reason I would have installed it on phone would be if my laptop couldn't handle it when I travel. But luckily, the laptop does handle it. Nice. <gasps> oh, yeah. My laptop also, it, like, barely handles Genshin. I have to put Genshin on, like, the lowest settings. 30 FPS. I'm going to turn everything down, except for Shadows and except for Bloom. Because Genshin looks like garbage if you turn Shadows and Bloom off. So I keep shadows on the lowest setting and bloom on. Because without those, it's just terrible. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give this HP up to cast form. Why not? Here, cast form. Have some HP. Go for it. Did that even do anything? Did that give me one HP? I swear I was at, like, 109 before. Did that give me 1 HP? Izelda says, I wasn't expecting much of a 2013 laptop, but I can get above 30 FPS on lowest settings. Wow. I let it look like garbage. I prefer the increased frame rate. Yeah, like, I know. Increased frame rate is good. I do like, like, good frame rates. But I, like, yeah, that's just me. I can't stand how Genshin looks without Bloom and Shadows. It already looks, it already looks like crap when you turn down the settings pretty far. But it doesn't look like absolute garbage. Kaida says, I got used to playing Gen on mobile because my older computer couldn't handle Genshin. Do you mostly play on mobile now, Kaida? Whoa, okay, this... Oh, wait, no, that's the girl we just fought earlier. Wait, don't listen to Team Aqua. Don't believe their lies. All right. Miss. I will... Maybe not. Luckily, I got a new laptop. Oh, but I'm still pretty 50-50. Nice. So is that what you stream on? 
You stream on a laptop, Kaida? Or do you use your... Something else? Yep, wow. Wow, alright, good for you. Being able to stream Genshin on a laptop. Like, that's incredible. Your laptop can handle that. Laptops are not the easiest things for, like, streaming. And Manny, I return. Howdy, how's stream been going? Stream has been going pretty well, Manny. We are deep within the lair of Team Magma. I think we're... Wait, does anyone know? Do we... All right, because Team Magma is... They're trying to break out or find, like, an ancient Pokemon. So I wonder if I should be, like, saving in case I run into this ancient Pokemon and need to catch it. All right, also, Zelda. All right, this is probably the big question. The important question for you, Zelda. Which Zelda game is your favorite? All right, Manny says, you won't need to. They are post-league. Oh, all the... Le so the main legendaries are post-the-league. Interesting. I guess this is just a part of the story where the Team Magma is trying to get to it. Ooh, Zelda says, I don't have a single answer to that question. I can't choose a single favorite. All right, that is very fair, Zelda. I'm the same way. I don't really choose favorites for a lot of things. But if I had to pick a top three, ranking lists are good. Uh, this guy says, I want to see Grodon, too, but they won't let me see even its tail. It's got me feeling really frustrated. Oh, no, I blabbed about Grodon. Uh-oh, now I know where Grodon is. Yeah, Grodon, Kyogre, our Rayquaza is main story, I believe. Oh, so you just run into Rayquaza in the main story? That's cool. Yeah, I guess like in Silver and Gold, you just run into Ho-Oh in the tower that's part of the story. Lugia, I guess, is a different story, because it's somewhere else. Alright, we're going... We're going to use our last rain dance on Baltoy. I've got some more pee, -pee up my sleeve. I can get, get it back. Uh... Da. All right, do the weather ball, beat the ball toy. Wait, what song is this? Yeah, Every Piece Matters. Every Piece Matters by Pliny. Awesome song. It's so nice. So close to those Team Magma Grunts. Alright, so the plan will always be, in any Pokemon playthrough for me, to catch all of the legendary Pokemon that are available. Are both Grodon and Kyogre, like, available to catch in this game? Or is it like only one of them is in one of the games? All right, so Zelda says, in no particular order, Breath of the Wild, Majora's Mask, and Twilight Princess. Interesting choices, Zelda. Like, of course, like, Breath of the Wild, everyone seems to say that is, like, the best Zelda game. So good to see that on the list. Twilight Princess. I have some good memories of Twilight Princess myself, so that is good. Now, Majora's Mask is an interesting one. Because Majora's Mask, like... It's kind of different, a little bit different from all the other Zelda games, but in a way that also makes it unique. So that is cool. And Manny says, yes, they both are. Sweet. 
All right, we're catching them both then. Zelda says, it's hard to immediately say Breath of the Wild is the best because it's so different from the rest. Same with Majora. Oh, yeah. Man, I, I freaking can't wait to play Breath of the Wild. I will buy a Switch someday to play it. But I might wait, like, a year to buy a Switch. Uh, what's Castform going to do? We're going to, uh, I guess we're going to have to Hailstorm it. Because we're at a rain dance. We're going to Leaf Blade the Numel. Yeah, and honorable mentions to Minish Cap and Spirit Tracks. Nice. I have played Minish Cap. That was pretty good. I did enjoy Minish Cap. I have not played Spirit Tracks. So I have no idea how good that is. Oh, Minish Cap was your first Zelda game. No way. Yeah, Minish Cap was definitely, like, pretty fun. I think it was... I don't know, maybe my sixth or seventh Zelda game? Let me count. Wait, but I have no idea where my card is. Wait, you have no idea where your card is? In, like, wait. In Spirit Tracks? I'm guessing because you've got I'm guessing in Spirit Tracks like you've got a cart to move around. Oh, oh, oh cart, as in maybe cartridge. Okay, cartridge. Cart is short for cartridge for Minish Cap. Dang. That sucks. Dang, I wonder if I know where mine is. Jeez. I do have a bag of like all my um Game Boy Advance games somewhere. <laughs> well, what do you know? Flynn Flan coming in, asking for a tongue twister that he made up himself. <laughs> All right, Flynn Flan. We shall do your tongue twister. Here we go. All right, this is Flynn Flan's tongue twister. He says, It's Flynn Flan, it's Flynn Flan. We all love Flynn Flan. He's so great. It's Flynn Flan, it's Flynn Flan. We all love Flynn Flan. He is so great. Wow, what a tongue twister. All right, one more time fast. It's Flynn Flan, it's Flynn Flan. We all love Flynn Flan. He is so great. Well, now, what do you know? That's, uh, that's a pretty good way to get me to say really good things about you. Just, just do a redeem that causes me to say things. It works. It works. Uh, welcome in, Flynn Flan. I hope you're doing well tonight. The uh, wrong tab. Wrong tab again. A missed. I missed the tab. I went for the tab and I missed. And large poggers also coming in. Hey, hey, people. Hey, hey, yourself, large poggers. How's it going? Are you prepared for tomorrow, large poggers? Zelda says, I have all my Game Boy Advance games in an old pencil case. And as far as I can tell, Minish Cap is the only missing one. Oh, no. Wait, Zelda, is it in your Game Boy Advanced? Is it, like, in there? Do you still have your Game Boy Advanced? <laughs> Large part says, yeah, damn, that's a hard one. Yeah, it's very, very challenging tongue twister. Flynn plan. <laughs> oh, and wait, River, aloha! What is everybody coming in at the same time for? What is going on? Everyone everyone just, like, comes in at one, at one time. Aloha to yourself, River. Oh, well, come in. Zubat Jam. Wait, does that exist? Does Zubat Jam exist? I'm looking it up. Zubat Jam? Unless River's just referencing the screen. Okay, Zubat Jam does not exist. I would make it. If it existed, I would have done it. Oh, no, 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 no. Large poggers. I didn't practice. I didn't have time to practice. I was doing an escape room today. So I, did, I didn't have time to practice. But I can still try to say, You've kept me, you've kept me waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? No, it needs more gravel. Kept you waiting, huh? That's a bit better. Zelda says, I wish it were that simple. I do still have my Game Boy Advance SP. It's next to my first-gen DS and new 3DS XL on the shelf next to me. Nice. Wow, I wish I had a Game Boy Advance SP. I had the regular Game Boy Advance, which sucked because it had no like light on the screen. So you couldn't play it in the dark. Even in the light, it was hard to see. River says, hey, I have Minish Cap. Nice. Do you, River? 
Minish Cap's a good one to have. And, like, I think I... I probably still also have Minish Cap. Zelda, if you need Minish Cap and I find mine, do you want me to send it to you? Like, would you... Would you want, like, Minish Cap back? Oh, Flimfet says we carpooled! Wait. That's not possible. Flin Flan River and Large Poggers can't have carpooled. They all live in different locations. You go get you had me for a second, Flin Flan. Versus Bat Jam might exist. Large Poggers says, oh come on, Nathan. What do you mean, Large Poggers? I don't have I don't have all the time in the world to just like practice. It has been like less than 24 hours since And I didn't have time to practice. Alright, Friday, Large Poggers, Friday. Fine, fine. I shall wait on my snake. <laughs> Till next stream, but you better make it good. Alright. Alright, large progress. I shall do it next stream. River says, I was actually just out biking. It's super pleasant right now. Warmer even than it was in the day. Yeah, it did seem to get warmer. Like, I went into the escape room and it was a little chilly. I came out of the escape room and it was a little warmer. Went to dinner. It was a work thing. Like, we went out to do, like, a work holiday party thing. Came out of the escape room, and then um, it felt even warmer. So it did get pretty warm. Manny says, the Game Boy Advance SP was great. Yeah, it would have been great to have. I really wish I had one. All right, I lost all my DS cartridges. They were on some case that was lost long ago. Oh, man, Manny, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, which DS games did you have? Zelda says, I just checked. Currently in my SP is MMBN5. MMBN5. Mario Maker? Nope. I don't know what MM... Oh, Mega Man Battle Network 5. Oh, okay, yeah, you did say Mega Man Battle Network earlier. And then my DS is Super Mario World. Nice. Oh, Manny says, but I have the boxes, so that's nice. Yes, Manny. You can look at the boxes and imagine you're playing the game. That's just as fun, right? Right? Ah. So it says, if you're sure, I'd be willing to buy it from you. Nah, nah, nah. Zelda, you can, you can have it. You don't need to pay me for it. It's just sitting in my closet somewhere. Like, I'm happy to give it to you. Like, if someone can get some enjoyment out of it, like, I'm happy to give it to someone. That's all the payment I need. Right. <laughs> Large progress is gonna go do some laundry. Gotta mock a run. Do that laundry. All right, Large Fires, you mock a run to that laundry. Do it Do it up quick. Man, he says, I remember I had a copy of Pearl. Apparently I had two and a copy of Diamond. Wow, two Pearls and a Diamond. Dang, Manny, you are rich. Flipflat says, people hey to all. Or is that people wave? Nope, that's people hey. Especially the peoples I haven't seen in chat before. I just got back today from a work trip, so I missed a few streams. Whoa, Flint Flan, you're on a work trip? Where'd you go? What were you up to? Manny says, Mario and Luigi games, Pokemon Ranger, and Mario Party. Why am I saying Mario? I always say Mario. That's weird. How did that happen? Alright. Oh, yeah, I... I remember, like, that Mario and Luigi game for DS. I didn't have a DS. Like, I have not had a single handheld Nintendo console since the g original Game Boy Advanced. I had nothing after that. Because, like, I got older and my parents were like, well, we're not buying you video games anymore. But I was still so young that I didn't have money to buy my own games. So I was like, okay. Well, no games for me then. Alright, so to be fair, my old consoles died too. I gave them too much work when I was a kid. Whoa, Manny, how many hours have you put in to the games? River says, an hour of biking today. That's almost four hours this week. Take that. Take that, seasonal depression. Heck yeah, River. You kick seasonal depression's butt. Go for it. Yeah, biking exercise, definitely good for you. Good for you. Good for keeping your like body and mind healthy. It's good stuff. I love to hear it, River. Someone says, went to Boston to oversee an unload of road salt. 55,000 tons. Whoa. 
So you like so basically you kind of just had to make sure that the machines that your company built were working and that the road salt was being unloaded correctly. Um oh yeah, we're in we're in hail mode already. So it says, alright, if you happen to stumble across your copy of Minish, Cap, hit me up on Discord and we can figure it out. Sure thing. I shall let you know, Zelda. Flimflon says, it was my first time this ship has unloaded. So, it was the first time the ship has unloaded. So yeah, I just had to make sure everything went smoothly. And did it go smoothly? Were there any things you had to deal with? All right, camera up. You get pelted by that hail. I'm going to weather ball, and this might take a couple hits because it's a high-level camera up. Yeah, one more hit, and we should be good. Oh, I can't believe a critical hitted. Right when I did not need a critical hit, the worst possible time. A few hiccups, but should be good now. Whoa. Few hiccups. Well, I'm glad that it seems like it sounds like you were able to solve the hiccups. Wasn't anything major, no no disasters or anything. So that is good. Mighty Anna. All right, we're gonna leave cast form out. We can do this with our. Oh God, can we do this? All right, the hail is continuing to fall, so at least we have cast form in ice state for a little bit longer. We got one more weather ball. Yeah, should have used water. It's four times versus camera up. River, I know. Okay, that, that that is very good advice. That is true. And I know I should have used water. The problem is I had no pee-pee left on my rain dance, so I couldn't get the rain dance out. So we're just gonna deal with this. Yeah, I'm low on PP, I'm low on HP. This cave has been very deep. There's been a lot to fight in here. Ah, I should have thrown out Swallow. Well, Leaf Blade anyway. Oh, okay, I wasn't paying full attention. No problem, River. You just got here. You got. I think you got here after I started this fight. So it's it's not. There's no problem at all. Uh, well, we're just going to go for it. Two more Leaf Blades and we'll win. Wait, we might be able to finish it with a quick attack. Oh no, Confuse Ray. I can't believe it. <laughs> Wait, does anybody, all right. Does anyone actually have an answer for why Flin Flan, River, and Large Pogger showed up in chat at the same time? There was no carpooling. Was it just, was it legitimately just like the craziest coincidence ever? You can run from wild Pokemans. River, that is true. You can run from wild Pokemans. That is what I've been doing. But as you shall see, I just beat this uh, Team Magma person. Team Magma Admiral, I think it was. Flip Flat says, wait, he's using the friggin... Banana. I don't. I forget what that move is called. Well, we had to wait for River to finish her bike ride. <laughs> okay, that is true. That makes sense. We couldn't go to stream when River was still biking. That wouldn't be fair. Okay, I really wasn't paying attention. River, it's not even your fault. You came in after we started the fight, so there's no way you would have known. Wait, what is this? Max revive. Do I even have a regular revive? Oh, I do have a regular revive. Let's use it. Like, why the heck not? Let's... Oh, Large Pogs is alive again? Heck yeah. Let's use the other revive. I don't even care. Go Geochad. Nice. Oh, get back. You were talking about a cave. There was a Zubat. Yeah. <laughs> cave, Zubat. That's where you came in. Not very clear what's going on. Oh my god, is that... Is that Grudon? So this is basically what I've been doing this whole cave. Run away from the... 
Pokemon encounters and fight the these guys. Oh no, that's <laughs> no, that's Torkoal. Come on, River. I wasn't talking about Torkoal. I was talking about the guy who's like, well, you can't see, but I'm pointing where he was on the screen. No, this is Patrick, says Flin Flan. Flin Flan. All right, no, I'm talking about the 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 gray one up there. Patrick. What is that, a SpongeBob joke? No, hello, is this SpongeBob? No, is, this is Patrick. I think there was a SpongeBob episode where Patrick was staying at SpongeBob's and someone called. River says, ha, that time I was pretending to not know what's going on. <laughs> yes, River was pretending the entire time. That's what happened. Is this a, is this a battle? Nothing could awaken you from your sleep bathed in magma. This blue orb is what you sought, wasn't it? I have brought you the blue orb. Let its shine awaken you. And show me. Show me the full extent of your power. Oh, God, things are happening. It's story and plot. Hello, is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Oh, when he was working at the Krusty Krab. That's what happened. Whoa. All right, Grudon. What's wrong? Wasn't the blue orb the key? Grudon, where have you gone? No, my love. My Grudon. <laughs> Or says, well, I didn't see the Grudon, but I did see that you were in the Magma Cave. Gotcha. Oh, so it was you? I've seen you poking around uninvited here and there. I get it now. You must have pulled a cheap stunt. Or a seep. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're not going there. All right, so I do have to fight Leader Maxi. Who's gonna fight this mighty Anna, I wonder? Um. Um. God, I don't have anyone strong against Dark, do I? Let's just go flying. See if that works for a bit. Okay, critical hit, but at least it was hit with recoil. Dang. Alright, let's wing attack. And hope that does a decent amount of damage. Wow, it did not do nearly enough damage. Bug beats Dark? What? <gasps> what? Bug beats Dark. Okay, I guess that makes... That makes no sense. I guess, what, like, because bugs are... They creep around in the dark? I don't know. Were they just like, <laughs> yeah, bark, yeah, bug beats dark because eh? I don't know, just cause it just happens. I guess interesting. Um, okay, so swell is dead. All right, let's go bug then. Let's do it. <laughs> Flintstone says most things are afraid of the dark. Dark are afraid of the bugs. <laughs> All right, that is that makes a lot of sense. That is the situation. All right, one more fury cutter and it should be good. I probably could have killed it with a single leaf blade. Yeah, leaf blade. But I wanted to use a bug move just cuz. All right. So what's the deal with ghosts and dark again? Does dark beat ghost or does ghost beat dark? Which way does it go? Crobat. Who would I use against Crobat? Maybe a rock throwing Pokemon? So Dark beats Ghost. Does Dark like envelop the ghosts? The ghosts like without light, they're they're worthless. They have no power without the light. River says, my guess is bugs have night vision, and oh, holy crap! Pandicu is raiding with party of five. Welcome in, Pandicu, and the raiders, welcome everybody. All right, Pandicu, 
Where's the raid message? Somebody make up a raid message for Q right now, quick. <gasps> all right, anybody, all right, if you raided with Q, just say a raid message. Just type whatever comes to your mind. We need a raid message for Q. <gasps> welcome in, Q. How was stream? Yes, welcome in, raiders. All right. You know what we gotta do. You know what we gotta do when a raid happens. We gotta check out the streamer's stream. Videos. Where are they? <laughs> Woo! Yes, welcome in. Yo, thanks so much for the raid, Panicu. All right. Let's check some stuff out. Wait, River says Panda who? All right, wait, also. All right, there are a bunch of messages. I shall get back to everyone's messages in a second. We gotta, we gotta handle this raid. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, what the? What? Flin Flan? Oh my god, Flin Flan gifting 10 subs? Yo, that is incredible, Flin Flan. That's amazing. That is purple rocks hype. That is purple rocks worthy. <laughs> Isn't that what we do for raiders? I guess it is what we do now. Also, Mama Mao, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? And Kuru Matani, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. How's it going? Yo, yeah, Zelda getting a gift sub. That's awesome. All right, we got to check out. We're checking out Pandaku's clips. Here we go. What do we got here? Where we got popular clips. View all. Oh, all right. I, I have seen this clip. This is a good clip. I got to show you. Wait. Wait, it, here it comes. Here it comes. She's starting stream. And that's how she starts the stream. Hello. <laughs> Just starts Sorry off with that. the sad I duck face. 8.30 or 9. It is 9.30. I love it. I love it, Bandicoot. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Kuru Matsune, or got a gift sub as well. Already using the brain last emote. Love to see it. Panicu says clip? Wait, what are you talking about? Have you not seen this clip, Panicu? Yeah, a, a Panicu in its... Yes, very good. A Panicu in its natural habitat. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, wait where, did, where, where was it? And here we see the Pandicu in her natural habitat. This is where we do not want to spook the Pandicu. She is searching for the Primagems to be able to pull for a C2 Eula. <laughs> I've been exposed to Pandicu. Heck yeah, that's what it has happened. All right, let's let's check in a, let's check one more clip. Finally hitting six digits. I can't remember if I've seen that one. Wait, Anime NYC, bad financial decisions. Was it? Was it? <laughs> what? Oh wait, that's the name of her stream. Okay. Pandek one dab, Pandek one dab, oh, Pandek one dab. Match, Jay. All right. I just, I needed to see what happened. All right, I'll, I'm gonna play that again. So for those who don't know, this is what happens every time someone follows or does something like gifting subs, like subbing or cheering bits. <laughs> if you watch Medicu, she jumps. <laughs> she gets scared every time a follow happens. It's amazing. But welcome in, Panicu. What did you get up to on stream? And oh my god, I missed it. You cheered 100 bits. Thank you for the cheer, the bitties, Panicu. Appreciate that. What? Oh, that was your 100th follower. Nice. Wait, now it's playing that. Music. There we go. All right. Kuru's... Kuru says there's some National Geographic going on. Heck yeah, we we have found the Pandicute in their natural habitat. And then we have seen what happens when they get spooked. It is fun. I smell a hype train. I Oh wow, there is a hype train thing there. I've never seen that before in my streams. 
All right, now I must. I always make sure to read as many people's chats as I absolutely can. So I shall go back and get to everything that I missed. Because I care about everyone and I want to communicate with y'all. So River had said, my guess is bugs have night vision. Or maybe bugs are really dumb and are immune to mind tricks. <gasps> Wait. All right, okay. I, I was like, what? Mind tricks? How does dark have anything to do with mind tricks? But I guess that kind of makes sense. But I like your idea. Bugs have night vision. So bugs will be able to attack in the dark. And Manny says, bugs are usually unaffected by night. All right, you guys, you two have good ideas. All right, like most bugs are nocturnal creatures. That is true. River says, okay, WTF, twitch.tv stream chat. How come control backspace erases a full row instead of a single word? Wait, what? No. No, you're kidding. Pennycus says, all right, Lurk, back to Excel data analysis. I play you in background. All right, Pennycus, thank you for the Lurk. I hope um, you have fun playing on your Excel data analysis. That is an interesting game I've never heard of before. All right, school is times. You got to do stuff in school. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Control backspace does erase the entire line. River, yeah, that is garbage. That sucks. That is not cool. I flip that says, in the dark, the ghosts can't be seen and therefore aren't scary. All right, good point. Good point. All right, then everyone rated. Yeah, Zelda says, yeah, I've also noticed this and it's terrible. Yeah, that is, that's terrible. You've got to be able to control backspace just for a word. That's so much easier. Oh, River made up a good panda cue. Uh, stream message. Panda who? Panda Q. River, that is a good message. Someone... All right, maybe I'll post that in Panda Q's Discord. Oh, wait, she saw it. She saw it. All right, sweet. All right. Wait, I think there's other stuff I missed. River said A. Purple Rocks. Sub. Exposed. National Geographic. Wait, I did read all that stuff. Wait, and Large Poggers says, and we're still gone. Wait, I missed that one from Large Poggers. Still gone, Large Poggers. All right. Um, I see you when you get back. <laughs> oh, and River says, by mind tricks, I mean like fear. I see dark type as more of a metaphorical evil than literal darkness. All right, that is reasonable. And this is really bad. Looks like we were not prepared to fight this crowbat. I'm going to take this time to heal up my Pokemon that can do good stuff. Alright, so those who were from Pandacue's stream, what did she get up to in her stream today? What was she doing? Was she fawning over Goro more? Large Park says, get totally pranked. I was actually backed. Dang it, Large Poggers, you legitimately straight up pranked me. I, I, I thought you were just coming in to say, just to say something, to say that you were still not here. But you actually were. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. All right, maybe I'll use the Hyper Potion. We can afford those in the shop, right? All right, cast form back to 100%. Crobat's going to die, so... Eh. I mean, Geochad's going to die. I mean, Crobat's going to die, too. But we have to kill it. All right, cast form's turn. Oh, but cast form is still low on PP. All right, let's go for the Hailstorm anyway. Yes, because... Ice... Bad against, uh, strong against flying. All right, Hailstorm's a good idea. Lush Park says, My door dash arrived just as I was downstairs for laundry. It was very fortunate. Dang. That is quite lucky timing. Wait, where was my hail? Why did my hail... Why did I not hail? I am confused. That is not what I want to be. I don't want to be confused. Thank you, Castform, for snapping out of confusion. Now that it's hailing, I gotta use another HP thing.
Dang. All right. Well, that's just how that's just how it goes sometimes. You got to use up your resources. Uh, and if anyone knows me, I am a super hoarder of resources. I do not like using resources. I just like to hold them all just in case I need them. And then you get to the end of the game and it's like, oh, I beat the game. And it was more difficult than it had to have been because I didn't use the stuff I, the items I had. All right, well then, screw it. We're using a hyper potion. I don't want to fall into that trap anymore. All right, Manny can relate to that. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess like maybe in a way, Genshin has perhaps taken that uh, feeling down a bit for me. Because you do have to spend resources, a crap ton of resources in Genshin. But in games like Pokemon, like, I'm still always like, gotta hold on to this, I gotta hold on to this potion. It only heals 20 HP, but I might need it someday. I might need to heal exactly 20 HP. And I am out of weather balls. <laughs> well, I'm out of weather balls. Let's use the Lapa Berry. I used it on hail. I clicked too fast and I used it on hail. All right, Flynn Flan says, I gotta go to bed, just gotta work in the morn. <laughs> good night, y'all. Good night, Flynn Flan. I hope you have a good bedge. Yeah, brain lost, exactly. Thank you for being here to witness this incredible brain loss. And thank you, River, for recording it. So that I'm per it is on my permanent record now. That brain lost. And damn it, now we're confused again. Well, that's fine. It's fine to be confused while I use a Lepa Berry. Well, all right, Lepa Berry gone. Now we're at zero Lepa Berries. All right, cast for him. Weather Ball. That's the one I need. All right, there we go. Manny says, Genshin didn't take it away from me. Ah, uh, too bad. Yeah, like it never, it kind of never really fully goes away. Like, if that's your personality, it's really hard. It's probably, like, a core part of your personality. And it's gonna be hard to change. Please don't hurt myself. Please don't hurt myself. I'm dead. So that was all for nothing. Huh. Well, all right, River says, or maybe dark type is a fear thing, which is why it beats psychic types who have anxiety and is beaten by fighting types who have courage. Those are some good ideas, River. I like those ideas. Manny says, I still have yet to level, to, to have a character level 90. Before Ito, I was at 10 million Mora. Whoa. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to ever level 90 a character. I'm only going to level 89. And that's good enough for me. Because the resources to get to 90 is not worth it. And the... Uh, yeah, it's like not worth the payback you get. Um, I don't know. Large pongs or something. Psychic types are like human mind. Weak to ghosts, bug in the dark. All common human fears. Okay, so that really is what Pokemon's purposely modeled them after. They purposely want psychic type to be like humans. Oran Berry only does 10 HP? Why do I have 10 Oran Berries? Citrus Berry only does 30. Maybe I'll use a Soda Pop. Uh, there it is. You wait. Yeah, that's good enough. Large Power says, maybe Dark Type banged your mom, making them evil? Hey, that I spelt it wrong. I spelt bonk wrong. My god. There we go. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> it's the bog. It was the bog command. I did not mean to bong large pots. <laughs> Alright, large partner. Sorry for bonging you earlier. I meant to bonk you. <laughs> bonk. It does sound it kind of sound like bonk. It makes sense. You got it, Kuru. 
All right, Kurgus also says, I don't really know how Pokemon fully works. I only played Sun and Moon. Wait, you played Sun and Moon and you don't know how Pokemon fully works? Do they not teach you how to play in Sun and Moon? Lushpar says, what? I just, just thought I'd join in on the theorizing. <laughs> Lushpar is theorize a little better, please. That theorization made no sense. Alright, I just need to survive. Alright, if it hits me one more time... Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I kind of held my hand the whole story. I don't know about tactics or something. Really? That's interesting. Yeah, the, all the early games, they, like, they have barely any hand-holding. I'm sort of going to die here. I don't care. I didn't bring a good... All right, so here's the thing. Like, you kind of do need to know a little bit about tactics. And in this situation, I have no tactics because I didn't... I wasn't prepared. I didn't prepare a team. Like, I didn't know what I was getting into. So, like, I just go into this mountain with, like, just random Pokemon. So, of course, I'm going to do bad at it. We're just going to... We're just going to die. But I have heard that, like, the newer games, they just get, they get easier and easier, and, like, more hand-holdy. But what did you think of Sun and Moon, though, Kuru? Alright, we'll get a better team. Alright, this is the plan. We're going to go back, defeat, what's his name, Maxine, and then and then that'll be our goal for the stream. We caught Ralts already, now we shall go defeat that person. Alright, oh, uh, do we need Zigzagoon to get there? No, we do not. So we can move Ziggy out. Kuru says, the story is pretty cool, but it's kind of short and straightforward. Can be done in a day? No. No, you can beat Sun and Moon in a day? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Oh my god, River says, <laughs> quoting Nathan Warax, bong large boggers. Wait, what? <laughs> what? How... Wait, oh, I was like, wait, how is that a command? Where did that word come, where did that come from? But River said stream eloquence. Nathan Warex passed the bog to large boggers. Oh no, that can't, that actually, I don't think that can become a thing. Twitch would get us in trouble if we made that a thing. But holy crap, River, you legitimately got me. I thought that was like a real command. I was like, how did that command come into being? How did that happen? Wait, where's our strong Pokemon? Do we not have any other strong Pokemon? Well, I guess we don't. Kind of want to level up this Tropius, but let's get Meryl for a bit. <laughs> Amazing. Got him. Yeah, River. You straight up got me. That was good. Wait, no. I want to see what's up with Meryl. What does Meryl have? What does Meryl do? Ooh, water gun bubble beam rollout? Let's go. Meryl, you are now my only good water Pokemon. You get in here. Alright, Manny says, so any game after Gen 5 is doable in a day. In my opinion. Experience share is for whole team. Okay, that is pretty sweet. I don't even care if that makes the game easier. I love that experience share is for the whole team in the newer games. That is just convenient. Most part says, yeah, the newer Poké games are a far cry from their predecessors in a bad way. All right, so what's the cutoff? Like, where's the cutoff between where it's the Pokémon is still good and then bang, it's not as good? Or does it like slowly inch by inch get worse? Oh, we're going to fly over there. 
Mount Chimney, I believe. Because clearly you can tell by the game that I'm playing, I am very much behind in Pokemon. Gen 3. That, that came out a little while ago. Maybe not too long ago. But a little while. Lodge Parker says, for me it was inch by inch. You're in a good spot though. Like, in a good spot with Gen 3. So it takes a while after Gen 3 to, like, get not as good. Yeah, like, I was in Buzzer stream. People know here should know Buzzer Menos. She was, she played the new one. The Shining Pearl. And she said she wasn't a fan of it. So it does seem like they keep getting, like, less and less good over time. Almost went over the edge. Kudu says, I made Sun and Moon even easier to finish by spamming Max Repels. <gasps> wow. You spammed Max Repels? So you just, like, ran through all the places to just avoid the friggin' random encounters? I can't believe it. PettyQ says, Pokemon games are too easy. I remember dying in Pokemon Yellow. Wow, but you also, you, you played Pokemon Yellow. Wait, so you're saying Pokemon Yellow wasn't too easy, but the new ones are too easy? Man, he says, they're a lot easier now, yeah. All right, let's check out this clip. No, you can beat Sun and Moon in a day? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Oh my god, River says... Quoting Nathan Warag's Bong Large Boggers. Wait, what? Brain what? working? How? Wait, Chugging? oh, I was like, wait, how is that a command? Where did that word come? Where did that come from? But River said stream eloquence. Nathan Warag's passed the bog to Large Boggers. Oh no, that can't, that actually, I don't think that can become a thing. No, you can beat some. Well, why is it Nathan gets got by good Christian lettuce? What does that even mean, good Christian lettuce? Panicu says, Pokemon Yellow is one of the oldest ones. Yeah, the gears are turning. Exactly, River. You can, you can see my brain. I'm just like, wait, wait. Gears are turning. Calculations completing. Reticulating splines. Computing the limit. Limit does not exist. Oof. <laughs> yeah, it took you a second, huh, Nate boy? It sure did, Large Poggers. It sure did. Or it says, I didn't want to put a weed reference in the whole title. Oh, that's what the lettuce is. Okay, smart thinking, River. River is smart. All right, Panda Q, Pokemon Yellow is one of the oldest ones. Isn't Pokemon Yellow literally the oldest Pokemon in existence? Or did Pokemon Yellow come out after Red and Blue? I thought Yellow came first, and then they did Red and Blue. But maybe it's the other way around. Okay, nothing up there. Alright, now it's actually time. I'm gonna spam a Repel. I'm gonna do a Repel. For my first time in this game, I'm gonna use a Repel. Oh, red, green, and blue was older. Yellow was after. Oh, okay. So they did do it in that order. Alright, repel time. Bag. Repel. Ooh, I've only got one repel. Alright, we're using it. Time to get through this quicker. And River says, also, Ayuk Pastor Starshine does weed stuff on stream all the time if you know her. Maybe. Does she hang out in Tynomic streams? That name sounds familiar. Kudu says, wait, which came first? Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby or the Sun and Moon? I think... Sun and Moon? But I have no idea. Don't ask me. I know nothing past, like, Gen 4. Yeah, she does. Oh, okay. That does, the name does sound familiar. So I guess, wait, but like, 
I know Twitch, like, discourages encouraging alcohol use on stream. So that's why I was assuming that maybe they would discourage references to using weed as well. But maybe it's only if you actually do it on stream. Oh, isn't this nice? Using the repel. Oh, repel already repel already wore off. Come on. Come on. I can't remember. Is she a mod for Tynomic? Or just a regular in Tynomic stream? <laughs> More like Geo Rude. Yeah, Rude. He didn't want to stay away. Like, I I said, excuse me, Pokemon out there. I would like some space right now. Please give, please respect my boundaries. Do not come close. And that Geo dude was all like, I'm going to get right up on you. No, thank you, Geo dude. I am not interested in that right now. Oh, Geo dude's coming for you. Not a mod, I don't think. Okay. Do, do, do. All right, getting back there. Getting back through the magma hideout, going back real fast. Gonna take out the magma leader. We're gonna whoop his mother. You know the rest of the words. Yeah, we're still running. We're going we're going fast. Oh, and when I go the wrong way, that's when it gets sad. I think it's down. I don't know if anyone else is paying attention to the map, but I am pretty sure we go down. And that's how you get to the Grudon. Yes, I remember her. We had that battle with her, and then she said some stuff. You know, as NPCs do, you fight them, then they say some stuff. That's how it works. Alright, we need a plan to take out this... What's his name, Maxine? Alright, I think we can take out the first Pokemon pretty easily. The second one is a strong Crobat. So what are we using against the Crobat? Okay, we're going to use Cast Form with some Hail. That'll be the plan. So maybe we'll even start out with Cast Form and Hail. But who... Oh. Does anyone remember who the first Pokemon was? The we fought before the Crobat? Wait, was it a Zubat? Was it a Zubat? Dark type? Ooh. I think it was a dark type. So maybe we'll we'll throw out Tipler first. See how that goes. But Tipler's gonna have to use Fury Cutter, because if he uses Leaf Blade, Grass is not gonna be strong against flying type. Wait. <laughs> Large Boy says it was a NyQuil? Like the medicine, large poggers? Used a NyQuil? <laughs> River says, you need some strong fighting on your team. I sure do. Kudu says, when we came, you were fighting Crobat. Oh, okay. So you all came in when I was already on the next Pokemon. So I don't know who was before. Uh, For safety, let's just throw out... Let's assume that Tipler might be able to do it with bug moves. Maybe. Oh, it's Maxi, not Maxine. Alright, let's go. I uh, probably should have saved, maybe. Oh, wow. I, they actually have to replay the whole of this thing. Interesting. Alright, and there goes Grudon. Oh, so it was... Oh, yeah, you, Poking Run and invited cheap stunt... All right, Maxi, Magma Leader Maxi. 
Oh, yes, it was Mighty Anna. You're still on your bike. River, of course. I do all of my Poke Battles on my bike. I am the ultimate cyclist. That is how I roll. All right, we're going with the Fury Cutter. It'll build up. Oh, it's just Swaggerin'. All right. That's why Mighty M was difficult. It used Swagger. And then Crobat's going to do a Super Sonic. Hush Bar says, damn, I just had the most bomb-ass Indian food. Hell yeah. Nice. Good Indian food is awesome stuff. I love it. All right, Templar, come on. Just one more hit. No, I'm lost out in the Fury Cutter stacks. Uh, moves that stack in this game. They're so easily prevented. You're basically modern cavalry, rolling around and waving a flag. Fury Cutter plus Confusion, a bad time. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, very bad time. And there's a Super Potion. Oh, yeah, Confusion is the worst possible thing to have right now. And it's going to use a takedown, which will... Well, at least there's my Fury Cutter, which does nothing. <laughs> I mean, you're leading the battle from your bike. <laughs> Alright, what if I heal myself now? Huh? What if I do that? Should I Hyper Potion? Eh, let's do it. Let's Hyper Potion. Alright. Whoa! Withdrew Mighty Anna. Sent out Crobat. Wow. That's an interesting move. Alright, Crobat is Dark Slash Flying. So it would be better if I threw out Cast Form and did Ice. Because the flying is not going to fly well with Tipler. Wait, poison flying? What? All right, well, that's interesting. Poison flying. I would not have guessed that Crobat was poison flying. All right, I'm just going to keep hurting myself in my confusion. Is there any, like, stat that reduces my probability of hurting myself in confusion instead of just fighting. All right, well, now I got to heal cast form. Bag, please. Wait, same as Zubat and Goldbat. Wait, Zubat and... is also poison? What? Really? I guess I never paid attention. There might be an ability, I don't know. That would be nice. I wonder if... Yeah, there's got to be some sort of math somewhere. Where they're like... Probability of hurting yourself? Higher or lower, depending on something. And I'm and maybe it's also something about how long you're confused. Because Cast Form has been confused for a long time. And now it snaps out of confusion... Well, at least I got a hailstorm started. Alright, now I'll actually have to do, like, an HP increase. And I'm out of full heals. So I guess I have to use a soda pop. That's all I have left. That'll give me enough HP. Alright, we're going for it. We're using the soda pop. All right, that'll last me enough to do one move, possibly. All right, hail's fallen. I have time to do one move. We shall fight with the weather ball. Just don't die. And I died. All right, go Tepler. 
And let me guess, Crobat's gonna make me confused. And then we're gonna die. Is that what's gonna happen? Keep going with the Fury Cutter. Wait, oh, I forgot, it's not dark. It's poison flying. And Tipler is going to be extremely ineffective against it. So Tipler is the worst Pokemon to throw out. What I really need... is... Geochad. That's who I need. That's the important one. Because Geochad can throw the rocks. There we go. Alright. Confuse Ray. Oh, wow. It is a much higher level than me, so it makes sense. It's got more speed, at the very least. And I use Rock Throw anyway. Alright, now we're getting somewhere, at least. Oh, wow. Already out of confusion. But I missed? I threw a rock and a missed. Threw another rock, also missed. Got bit by a crowbat. Died. So that's how that happened. Alright, we're just throwing out Swallow anyway. Swallow, do something. Do a wing attack. Well, that was a decent amount of damage. If that had a crit, we would have killed it. Alright, we're just gonna go for the quick attack. That's all we need. One quick attack. Yes, well, use quick attack. And it died. Sweet. Oh, they've got a camera up. Where, wait. Where the heck is River? Did anyone see River in the box? I don't remember seeing River in the box when we went to get good Pokemon. I wanted to get a good Pokemon out. River's not in my party. What what happened? Where's my river? <laughs> River's napping, maybe? I guess so. Just napping not in the box, apparently. Alright, did one wing attack. Good. We did something. We did some damage. <laughs> Wow, I wonder if my eyes just, like, glossed over River, or if I accidentally, last time I swapped River out of my party, I put her somewhere else. Alright, water, here we go. Go Tom Morello. I'm guessing because Bubble Beam has lower PP number, it's stronger. So let's go Bubble Beam. Ooh, Earthquake. Will Tom Morello be able to sus stand against the Earthquake? Nope, Tom Morello died. From a single Earthquake. Uh, alright, it's all up to Large Pogs. Alright, go Large Poggers. You got this. You just need to... Um... Flinch. Just bite it and make it flinch. <laughs> Large Powers, my time to shine. Well, Large Powers, look what happened. Maxine, Maxi just used a, a potion. So that's not good. Alright, if we do a swords dance, that might help. Because now your attack has sharply risen. And you're going to be super strong. We just need to survive this earthquake. Can we survive the earthquake? Oh, Large Powers. Look at you! Surviving that earthquake. Alright, time to bite. Wait, that did way less damage than last time, but it flinched. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby! Nice. Why did that bite do so much less damage? At least it flinched. That's what we really needed. We needed that flinch. I'm gonna try a razor wind. But it's probably not gonna work. Because we need a... Yeah, we're going to die in between. Will the Razor Wind attack next time, even though I'm dead? Yeah, Manny says flinch. Nice. Yeah, there's damage calculations. You can high roll or low roll. Oh, I guess... I guess that is a thing. Dang, that makes it way more complicated. 
Yes, we're going to send out a grass bug type against a ground fire type. Good idea. Um, I don't know. Dark attack? I'm assuming, wait, I'm assuming its bug would be weak. Not very effective. Well, it's also Fury Cutter, which is going to be terrible anyway. Wait, Leaf Blade might win, actually? Really? But it's grass. All right, Manny. Leaf Blade is neutral? Oh. Well, you're right. It was neutral, and we did win. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, thank you for that update, Manny. All right, we're doing good. Oh, wait, brah, because ground is weak to grass. Oh, okay, so that neutralizes it from the fire. That's what happened. I don't think I have anything that raises HP enough to save me. Wait, I've got a max potion. If there was ever a time to use a max potion, it's now. Wait, let me make sure it does the right thing. Fully restores the HP of a Pokemon. Got it. All right, we're going to do this. We're maxing Templar back out, and we're going to win. We are not backing down. All right, yeah, you hit get that recoil, Mighty Anna. All right, let's actually try a Leaf Blade this time. Oh, yeah, a critical hit. All right, there we go. Maxi is defeated. Uh, there has to be some reason why Grudon fled. That's why you're trying to stay, aren't you? Huh. You think I didn't know that? With Grudon gone, there is no longer any need for this blasted volcano. I'm going after Grudon, so this is where we part. All right, see you, dude. I shall go out here. Oh, that's more hideout? Well, that's good enough for me. All right, we won. Stream over, everybody. We're going out on a high note. All right, who's online? Well, what do you know? All right, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Tynomic is streaming Pokemon Brilliant Diamond slash Shining Pearl. We are going to go, for the first time, I'm actually going to get to raid another Pokemon streamer. That is pretty nice. Yeah, it's actually never happened before, because I don't know anyone else who happens to be playing Pokemon at the same time that I get to raid on Wednesdays. Pandiki says, let's go! Heck yeah, we're doing it. All right. I guess there's no way to tell whether he's playing Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl. But we will find out when we get there. Let me start up the raid. Wait, where'd my raid button go? I just pressed it like a second ago. Oh, wait, it's a different color because I clicked it. It turned a different color because I clicked it. So that made it hard to find. Wait. All right, I'm going to go over here and then do the raid messages. Okay, so if you're not subbed, you can do... Now, let's go with that one. And if you are subbed, you can do this one. All right, you copy the message. If you want to join in the raid, copy the message. Join. We're going to go raid Tynomic. Um, He's a good singer. He does, a, he does singing streams every Monday. So if you want him to sing a song for you... You can go in and just be like, hey, sing the song, and he'll do it. He's a good singer. All right, so everyone, thanks so much for hanging out. Wait. Okay, that's just the Raid Now button. All right, Raid is happening in a bit. There's the time timer. It's counting down. Thanks, everyone, so much for hanging out. We had a good time. We caught a Ralts. We beat Maxi. We saw Grudon. A whole bunch of good stuff. Next time? Jim, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. I hope everyone has an awesome night. I'll see you later.
Peace.